Hey everybody, welcome to uh, issue Oops. two, our full issue two of uh, Mass Cosmic. Uh, Rock, I'm running a number of games uh, using masks um, a new generations and different comic book uh, uh, genres. This one is all set uh, in um, in outer space uh, and a cosmic type environment, especially influenced by Marvel's cosmic and the Guardians of the Galaxy type environment. So uh, we are playing with the Gauntlet inclusive policy. We are using lines and veils we set up. We're using the X card and script change in terms of our safety tools. Uh, we've got three of our four uh, bold adventurers here this evening, so I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves in uh, character keeper order. Um, we haven't got Harmony yet, but we have the hero formerly known as the Shadow, known as Rana. So, uh, can I ask Rana to say hello first and introduce the character? Hi, I'm Andrea. I play the role of the hero formerly known as the Shadow. Um, also known as Rana, um, perky young intergalactic frog person who has kind of wrangled their way into the superhero life because they've grown up about sort of solid parental figures and an obsession with superhero comics and they believe it's their destiny to be a great hero and they want to have a lot of fun trying. Awesome. Uh, then we have Danger Beam. Sorry, muted. Yes, hello, I'm Danger Beam. Uh, I am also, I don't think we've ever used my like non-hero name and that's fine really because the first name I got when I emerged into this particular world was Danger Beam. So I'll just stick with that. I'm playing the uh, newborn playlist. Um, playlist, I'm really sleepy, I apologize. I know words, I think. Um, I am an elemental being uh, made of pure light, but I can appear not to be, um, and usually do so pretty effectively when I'm not making myself into Bert from Mary Poppins uh, with all of my limbs as instruments. Um, my powers are, you know, being an elemental form and solid light proje projection. Um, and I generally am still figuring this whole earth thing out much like in real life. Cool. And our immovable object, Dumatron. So yeah, I'm Eris and I play Dumatron. Actually, his real name is Savanor, even I forgot it last time because he doesn't really use it. He spells Dumatron with just one O on purpose. So when people read his name in news, they won't think he's all about the doom. Um, He's immovable. You always see at the single um, point of view of him, whether he falls or stands or attacks, it doesn't matter. You always see him and he's always cool. And he's always very, very much a piece of rock. Yeah, the, the animation budget ran out when they got to Doomatron, right? So it's just Doomatron. Uh, it's just that, like, the picture they made is so pretty and beautiful. Like, they really made a rock person, and they just don't want to ruin it. Everyone else's action figure comes with, like, 12 different articulation points, except Doomatron, it comes with no articulation points. <laughs> uh, Cool. Okay. So when we ended uh, our last session, Rana had managed to um, jump the uh, cosmic cruise ship uh, that you're all upon uh, and get yourself, rather than uh, uh, flying headlong into the uh, sun, you and the 80,000 people on board uh, leapt headlong uh, into uh, an unknown part of space and we find uh, this picture of uh, this cosmic uh, cruise ship and uh, Rana looking across at effectively what is um, the skeleton of a large space dragon. Um, there is still some I suppose uh, uh, leathery scale there which is more um, Thicker than than you know the surface of a moon, but this thing is this thing is the size really of a small um, of a small moon. It would be would have been vast, 
Um, many races will have uh, rumors and reputations of, of the cosmic space dragons, and there are uh, reputations of a of a place which is a hive of skull of enemy uh, known as Duat. And even the ship that you're on, not necessarily the ship that you possess, is dwarfed by the size of this. Uh, and those of you who are on the bridge, in fact, let's put everyone on the bridge at this point uh, with you and some of the key NPCs. You're looking out and you can see this space, uh, sorry, this, this uh, amazing oddity uh, floating there. It is um, obviously being converted into a, uh, a say, a, 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 effectively a uh, a port uh, there are ships all over the place things have been made into the skeletons you can see almost like floating uh, um, uh, bolted together uh, domiciles it is quite a populous and brightly lit um, it's one of the most unique and wondrous things you've ever seen which is why <coughs> which is why uh, Rana was able to clear off the, um, the first set of drives uh, last month last week even and we're back here but rana when you look out on this and see it for the first time what is what is going on in your mind the brain is just exploding from the potential this is clearly some kind of like super legendary space place um has this ever been in a comic book sorry has it ever been in a comic book what this now uh, the the space it, dragon port. Oh, I mean, as, as in a comic book in universe, or yeah. I, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's say, let's say yes. It's it's in the hollows, right? This this is something that people know about this place. It's like the the legendary uh, the legendary uh, 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 space dragon Duat, um, was defeated uh, in um, mythic times. But yeah, it's known. It's been in the comic books. In that case, uh. Radna's only do the only thing that's appropriate. Grab a communicator and be like, ladies and gentlemen of this starship, this is not your captain speaking. The uh, <coughs> rocket rangers have uh, saved the day for the villain and taken you to the idyllic and beautiful space dragon, what was it called? Duat, D-U-A-T. <laughs> Thank you kindly. We'll be here all day. Are we the Rocket Rangers? Nope. I was just checking. I couldn't remember. No, but Harmony has been uh, telling people that you are, and that's not ever going to go uh, down, you know, basically traveling around space and saying, yeah, yeah, we're the yeah. Justice League. <laughs> There's never going to well, be ramifications for that, is there? Where were the goddamn Justice League when we needed them? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, dead. I don't see any anybody else taking down cruise ship baddies with their rocking beats. Yep. So, um, how is everyone else reacting to this? Orchid, Savanel. Um, I've been here. It's not that impressive. So blase. Do, <laughs> I'm like 300 years old. Do, Doom, Doomatron cares <laughs> not for, uh, uh, for such Giant a thing. skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even have any. Um, so, I feel like something was going on at the end of the last game that would prevent me from just like enjoying the view of the skeleton and now I don't remember what it was. And I watched the session so you'd think I would like to review and I'm still confused. So whatever it was, it resolved itself. Uh, a, small, a small amount of time has passed. I know you, you, had, you had the fight, you took them out. Um, so let, let's say, yeah, it's resolved. If you can't, if you can't okay. think what it is to refer back to, I think we're all right. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I am very pleased with the cleverness of Rana for uh, for taking over the situation and handling it in what I think is obviously a way that will be very reassuring to all the humans on board or whoever is on board. Uh, and it's not occurred, 
at all to daydream that saying this is not your captain and we have put the ship somewhere else might be like concerning to some people. Uh, she assumes that Rana would know and is like, oh good, well at least one part of it is handled and is gonna go try to find the rest of the team. Better than falling in a place. sun. Most things are. Well, actually, for me, maybe most things wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. I haven't tested it yet. So, uh, you sort of get a, uh, a signal from um, the, the command and control, which is within the skull of the dragon. And you see a figure, uh, this busy crew, but someone standing there off panel, looking out with a sort of a long flowy coat or cape watching as you arrive um <clears throat> and as we uh, we're going to give you your unexpected arrival we're going to give you a, a docking signal and bring you in awesome sounds good ron is going to go over to the giant bridge uh like screen and then take out their little phone and just try and get a selfie with Wait. the dragons the dragon moon in the background it's be better that they carry us, I assume, so we won't appear in a, another random place. So as, uh, as you're being pulled in and coming into an automated landing, um, uh, what, what here uh, tells you that this is a, um, a telltale sign that this is a, a hive of scum and villainy, villainy Doomatron? I've been here, so I know the people, and like, they suck. But what observable like, can we see? It... And they live on a giant dragon skeleton. I think that's clear. If you live on a giant <laughs> skeleton of a giant dragon of space that might have been some um, universe, uh, yeah, also no rocks. Yes, obviously bad. This is true. There are no rocks here. Um, as we are approaching, and there's a ship's coming in. There's a sign that shows that there's been recent conflict uh, here. Uh, and it's screwed up your shot, Rana. What does it look like? Sorry. Sorry, there's been recent conflict and it's screwed up my shot. So, what, I've caught something in my picture that is inappropriate or gross? Uh, yeah, you know, you cover this amazing thing that you're going to travel and, and all you can see is something behind you that, that feels like this. There's, there's, been, there's been something that's gone wrong here recently. It'll be the frozen bodies that don't have spacesuits on. They're just drifting. <coughs> Excellent. And what here does even uh, does even our uh, um, uh, newborn danger beam think is really weird? And out of the ordinary. Uh, nobody's making any sound. And my impression since arriving in this dimension is that everybody is very noisy. Um, but nobody's talking to one another. There's no music playing. It's just like, at least from what I can tell from where I am, it's weirdly quiet. Which makes me think, or makes Danger Beam think we should probably all become a band again to cheer everyone up, but Harmony's busy and well, it's um, we won't go down that route. Yeah, <clears throat> there's many ships stopped here. If 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 uh, Harmony was here right now, they would recognise uh, that one of the ships is uh, that of Unity Star Guard. Um, but he's talking uh, and got big moon eyes at Estella, the co so, uh, um, cosmic songstress uh, downstairs. Harmony, so, uh, yeah, the harmony that is. So, but it's it's, it's a ship from Unity's, uh, who is you know, the, um, Harmony's uh, evil we all would father. Well, because we didn't meet to there. Why? Why don't you? Why don't you assess the situation for me? That seems like the the best thing here, right? And uh, if you, if you are uh, successful in the assess situation, you will, and you can find things out. If you're not, it passes you by. 
that's a fair thing to oh. do, I think. Um, I have angry. Does that influence uh, assess? I don't remember. Uh, I don't think so. Angry effect. It affects mundane rules, right? I think angry, so. I think oh, so. I, for some reason, my hand got so 12. So. <coughs> Twelve. Then you you spot it. Um, it has that that look, that sleek military look, uh, combined with sort of the thought form of of a race of composers, and it is hanging there, uh, docked, and it's really um, just slightly odd to see it here. Yeah, but you can ask this me some questions. Planet. Yeah, um, I um, I don't know how much they would help me. Um, let me think about it for a second. What here can I use to understand what that ship is doing here? <coughs> You're gonna need to find someone who can explain. Uh, Who's a, who was on board it and why it's here? Um, you think the most likely support is someone either from uh, law enforcement on the station uh, or the docking guild. And uh, who here is the most vulnerable to me in like the whole thing? Is in what? what, what Not what, really sure because I'm looking at the space station from afar. Um, do you want to ask more about how the ship is vulnerable to you? That's what you're really focusing. Um, like you said, that Un uh, Unity's ship is there, yeah. basically. Um, does it look damaged in any way? No, it's 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 one of it's sorry to to re make sure we're clear. One of the things this is this is the ship of uh, one of uh, Unity's uh, star guards. So this is his 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 cadre of uh, um, Imperial Guard, effectively. So uh, it is slightly damaged. Uh, it looks like um, it got into a firefight somewhere, uh, and you're pretty sure that weakness is something that you could um, exploit to break it at a later point if you needed to. Okay, and um, does it look that they are the trouble that just happened here? <laughs> yeah, that would be a good, that would be a good assumption that someone started something they couldn't finish. Yeah, it sounds like my two questions though. I know it's not the same questions, but like mm -hmm. those don't really fit from this far. <laughs> But that's fine. Um, the ship uh, docks, there's a clunk, and uh, the doors open. Um, and we see um, the first figure that you see is one that is. Um, uh, is one that is sort of dressed in a in, in a space look spacish looking uh, um, suit with tie, and the head is like fractal energy and computing power moving around. Uh, they look around at you and then look at the damage and the devastation on the bridge, and says, "You guys ain't the rocket rangers." Who are you to see? Close enough. We need to understand what happened here. And he looks at you and says, this, uh, he said, who am I to say? And he pulls out uh, a badge and says, uh, I am Detective Rune. Uh, I'm the uh, chief investigator and in law enforcement on this station. <laughs> there are rules here, kid. So who am I? I'm the person who will impound your ship and make sure you never get off this place if you don't answer my questions. So, this is not you? my ship. Greetings, fellow yeah. hero. <laughs> this is hey. not our ship, so I don't care if it's impounded. I understand that there has been trouble here. I make my hand into a badge that looks just like his badge. <laughs> and I'm like, I am also uh, an investigator. Perhaps we can share information. 
So we're sort of rocket rangers in training. Elsewhere on the on the on the on the the space hawk, you can see the comm signal as the raptor has been desperately trying to get in contact with you, flashing. But we leave that. Uh, but yeah. he, he says, this move sounds like uh, provoke. So yeah. this move does sound a little bit like provoke. Yeah. I, I agree. So if you want them to, to, to if you want to de-escalate or potentially escalate the situation, I think provoking someone uh, would make perfect sense. Uh, yeah, it just sounds like it. Yeah, I mean, it would be an inadvertent <laughs> provoking, uh, but most yeah, of the things yeah. that it does is, is are in, inadvertent. <laughs> yeah. so it's not provoking the way. meaning of like you're aggressive. It's provoking and you're trying to get him to do something. Yeah. That's like basically provoking. I know, but I always forget. Uh, okay. I was going to think, I was thinking maybe I could use not from around here, but that's to get out of a sticky mundane situation, not to like... This is kind of... Yeah, I, I, I'd, uh, I'd let you pull that in this, in this scenario. You, you've just got the badge and you know, maybe that's disarming enough to... Um, yeah, cluelessness, goofiness, confused to get out of a sticky, mundane situation. The law is on your on your trail. So <laughs> yeah, I think okay. I think this counts. Turning your head okay. into a badge and say, "Yeah, I'm a nice person." Go for it. Uh, There's a totally mundane situation. <laughs> we are in space and everything, so this is. So mundane. that's <laughs> thankfully a seven. Although I really wish the page wouldn't do the thing where it gives you two really high numbers and then they just change into low ones. But it's still a seven with my plus two, luckily. Um, so the seven to nine, uh, I hit you create a plausible opportunity, and sometimes you also feel the weight of playing the clown. So I get to shift one of your labels in a minute. Um, so okay. what's the plausible excuse? Uh, that I am actually here to investigate, and I'm just from a team no one is familiar with yet, but obviously I have you know, powers and whatnot. If I can turn my hand into a badge. Uh, so, uh, Rune, I, feel I think Rune special. feels that you are, as a result of that, uh, not as dangerous as he first thought and probably more mundane than he believed. So I've shifted, uh, I've shifted those. Uh, he sort of uh, rubs his head and he does that, those bites of purple energy sort of flitter out into the, into the sky. And he says, I'm the, uh, I'm the security AI on the SIS station. Why don't we, why don't we take a, a seat and you explain what's going on? And I think a few panels, you know, when we receive, his, 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 like his, the, the color of his purple has, has gone a little dimmer as you've explained what you did and how you got here um, and who you are. But he seems up to speed at this point. Now we need to be up to speed. <laughs> He says, look, there's something, there's something really weird uh, going on in the station. Um, uh -huh. He said, we were, tracking, we were tracking Bodies. a smuggler. We were tracking, well, he said, we were tracking uh, um, uh, someone who's uh, smuggled uh, illegal artifacts onto the station. And from nowhere, we point to say, we see one of uh, 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 the, um, he sees a Star Guard ship arriving. And said, that's, that's just, um, this is a free port. Anyone can come and go here. Someone decided to pick a fight with them. They ended it. We don't, we don't ban people from this place. It's the resort of the last resort, if you know what I mean. It, it makes us a, a place where anyone can come. Someone calls a fight. <clears throat> this crazy guy with the gold mask gets off uh, and then uh, says, uh, he, is, he is looking, uh, he is looking, for the shadow and um, he said the shadow has what he requires. Well, we don't but, have anyone named the shadow on our team. We officially do not. Very specifically. It's true. Oh, the smuggler was on station before, uh, before we, um, you know, uh, we said we lost him. What does, what does Rana look like at the moment? Are they all masked Rana? up? And 
always, yeah, you only take the mask off when you're in private with other heroes. So I need to be in full superhero garb. He sort of the uh, mask and the scarf. The the electrons on his face and that energy sort of reshapes into this purple, uh, and it is definitely it says it says funny looking fella. It looks like this, and it is definitely the face of Gert. Oh crap! I have to remember who that is. That is uh, <laughs> that is a Gert. skinny buffo kid. <laughs> yeah, that's Gert. Oh. I pointed to it. <laughs> Uh, that's not the shadow. <laughs> you <go>, wait. <laughs> you know this guy? Yeah, he's my bestie from back home in the dome. <clears throat> the detective puts his hands on his shoulders, uh, as on his hips, and looks at you and goes, "You got more explaining to do, kid. How do you know that smuggler?" <clears throat> he's a smuggler. <clears throat> oh wow, that sounds pretty cool. Does he have a ship? Is it cool? Does he have a cool ship? <laughs> He goes, yeah, he's got a ship. He says he stole it from the Raptor. No, can't be true. Because the Raptor gave us his ship. I'm, I'm thinking that you kids uh, ain't the Rocket Rangers Junior League. We have to be. The Raptor gave us a ship. We can show it to you if you want. It's really cool. I mean, we could be a different group than the Rocket Ranger Juniors and still be cool, right? I mean, like, I, mean we don't I don't really, really like that name. We don't really have a proper name yet, do we? It's just like, you know, Rocket Rangers just fitted. Not really. Anyway, you said Unity ship is here for some artifact yeah the, the smuggler he points to the frog face he's wearing claims to have and brought on station that's as far as as me and my investigators have got to oh. and we've lost him uh, elsewhere on the station so is the smuggler in trouble <clears throat> if it deals with unity he is okay. it's a free port yes. well hey you the case with unity and Sorry? what? You did deals with Unity. I didn't do deals with Unity. Is Unity related to Harmony? Because they yes. sound kind of the same. Unity is Harmony's father. And Unity yes, I think she, she asked in in-game, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was that us in or out of character there? Sorry. I oh. couldn't. I couldn't. I thought it was out of character. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. I thought it's in. <laughs> that, that's that's sort of so, yeah. just a clarification. Yeah, but you, to remind people, Unity is uh, the, the the cosmic uh, uh, overlord uh, and current nemesis in the galaxy, uh, who also uh, probably did uh, uh, experiments on um, uh, or did do experiments on Savitar and turned them into the Doomatron. Yes. So yeah, I can probably help find that smuggler, maybe. Good. Look, any we help would be him. any help would be appreciated. This is going to escalate uh, uh, pretty quick. There's a bounty on uh, both of them. How much? <laughs> Says we're superheroes. We don't. We're not bounty hunters. Oh no, yeah. I don't want that. It, it, it's a matter of pride. How much? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> he said, How much? On shadow, you mean? He said there's, there's, there's 2,000 reward on the shadow, uh, and uh, the Star Guard uh, is wanted uh, in uh, the wider galactic community, 10,000 dead or alive. Sweet. It's a good thing we don't know anything about the shadow. We can just focus on that other one. Wait, isn't the shadow Gert? Oh, they. Yeah, Gert's using the nom de plume, the shadow. Danger Room is very confused by all of this. Like, she's in not character. the only one. Like, she's just, <laughs> just very confused. Uh, out of character. Out of character, a I'm little right. bit in character, completely. So, I'm right, Dave, right? That Gert is using the shadow as a 
moniker for smuggling. That's correct. Okay. What so who's the second there? person that has a bounty on him? Is that you? No, that's the Unity Star God. One of his uh, is his personal guard is on the stage yeah, that caused the fight. Is that the one with the gold mask? Yes. So there's gold mask person and Gert. Ron is very on top of things. Maybe that should be his new superhero name. Well, Rana. R- what well, Rana is on top of things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really parse. It is space. Everything is weird. Just make a weird name. Um, so it sounds like if we find your um, sh- the shadow person, we might get access to some things Unity needs, and we always should stop him. So, Detective Rune, is there a way we can get in touch with you once we have information on these suspects? Um, he says, I'm, I'm sure you could, like, you know, contact me. Um, he sort of provides his calm frequency on the station and says, this, this, is, this, ain't, this ain't a nice place. Stay safe. Oh, you might not want to be shouting out that you're with the rocket rangers here, whatever capacity that is in. They ain't, yeah. they ain't light around here, kid. Can you maybe make sure no one else gets off this ship? Like, we already managed to stop one major kidnapping. I'd hate to have to stop many more. Uh, at which point, uh, the... Uh, I Actually, no, we'll leave that to see in case Stephen arrives and give him that as a B-plot to deal with. Um, yeah, he said, that, Does- I'll, 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 I'll sort this out. Don't worry. It's fine, kid. Did he show us the picture that you put in the character yeah. keeper? Did he show? So, um, I consume a lot of, of media to try to like keep up with things um, and know what's going on. And I'm very curious as to whether uh, this fellow is like the budget version of Iron Man, because if so, I think I can take him down. Um, this. Um, I say the. Oh. Sorry, so, someone's silly or something. Went went. All right. Uh, right. So the uh, this, as I said, this is one of the of the personal guard of uh, Unity. So uh, this is more like uh, you know those guys who hang around with Thor turning up. Um, um, oh, he looks like budget the, Iron Man. The Warriors Three. Yeah. Was it Warriors Four. I still think we could take him. Of course. But we need to find him first. Well, let's go. No time to waste. Go with him where? and wandering around till we find him. Well, I could break through every single wall in this entire um, station. I don't believe that we, would help us. Or, I think we could just use the doors. I could try and phone him. For the who? shadow. You yeah, could vote in the shadow. He's my bestie. But not the not the one no, not the, the other henchman one. budget no. Iron Man guy. No, he was well, not my bestie. Perhaps you should call your friend. I am curious yeah, why this guy keeps there. calling us all kids. I'm probably older than him. Yeah, Dave. Rana would like to try and call Gert. I really enjoy that you're playing a 300-year-old teenager. The um, I'm not a teenager. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he he'll uh, he'll answer. Hey, girl, how you doing? Yo, Rana, how's it? It's weird. Like major highs, major lows. Stopped a high-profile kidnapping. Got to pilot a sweet-ass cruise liner. Bad is I gotta rebrand because someone is smuggling under my name. He goes, that sucks. He says, nothing exciting ever happens here back at the dome. Back here at the dome, Gert. You sure you're not at Duat? Smuggling under the name of the Shadow? Because Detective Rune seems to think you are. 
I, 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 th I think you're trying to pierce the mask. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One of the very underused moves in masks, I find. Uh, I roll seven. What's the... On a, it's mask, a plus mundane. Mask, plus mundane. Oh, you guys have totally thrashed my mundane. Yes, we've thrashed where's everyone's it? mundane. Where's that? Now it's a nice one, so I get a six. Mine's gone up, actually. Is, six is a miss, right? It is. Yep, I miss. Can I help? I can help, maybe, right? You've got uh, three in the team currently. There's a light power. If you could, how are you going to help? Uh, it depends on help why point? it's failing. Well, I think I think uh, it, it's uh, it's um, uh, failing because he goes. Uh, nice speaking to you. Uh, Mom's got tea ready. Bye, and he's hanging up. Um, I'm gonna. Look. Can he I? Doesn't even have a mum. <laughs> he's not necessarily very good at lying. We grew up as orphans. This is very suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's a way I would catch this in time, but I was gonna say like. If I can yell through the phone, like, don't hang up or I'll zap you. And I could, like, send electricity through the phone and zap him. Um, I, I, think, I think the threat of zapping, you can spend a point of team if you want to. Uh, but he's going to be very scared of you because you are threatening then. Um, oh, yeah, uh, maybe not then. That seems like not a good way to get him to, like... I that. will help. I will take the phone out of Rana's hand and do exactly what she planned to do, but more serious. If you don't answer all the questions correctly i will find you criminal that's not me and, that's a giant rock man and i give rana the phone back the, the, yeah uh, the Consider of, i'm threatened the threat of rock squishing uh um has uh cowed him for a second before as he sort of gathered his wits and you can ask them a question one question What are you really planning? Uh, You're not having dinner with your mum. What are you up to? <laughs> so it's, it's it's like we planned back in the dome, man. We we're going to use the uh, uh, Raptors gear to get the good stuff, to live the good life. I'm just doing what we planned. Um, this is a big sell. I'm going to be out of here. Uh, you can come and visit me in my space palace. Bye. <laughs> he puts the phone down. Does your your communication device have any sort of tracking mechanism? Does it? I mean, I'd expect you to have a tracking device on your communication device. I don't know. It's it's a phone. It's not an expensive one. It, where, uh, weren't you given it by your previous um, hero person that no, trained you? I stole it from Argos. Oh. Oh. But maybe he does have some sort of GPS thing. Uh, right. So anyway, you should ask. Um, might actually be committing high-profile galactic crimes under my name. Yes, he is. Luckily, it is no longer your name, as you said. So yeah. one, I need to rebrand, and two, we should probably stop him. But in a nice way, he's a really good kid. Like he's always been there for me. I will he not doesn't squish sound him into... like a good kid, but okay. He just makes questionable judgment calls. Well, I guess that makes sense. Like, um, God, is... we have to find him. Life is very can hard on ask... the streets. Can you ask Sari on your phone if it knows the location of the previous caller? You should, if there is such a thing. Okay. Um, I've never used there. the phone in my life. I'm going to see if there's an actual Even move. before you were made of oh. rock? I was never not made of rock. You'd need to assess the situation to see if you could try to track, uh, track that. Actually, if I return to the laser blaster and route about for some of Raptor's digital kit. Yeah. And take that as a piece of gear. So you're going to go back maybe down to the... Um, uh, Space hook, and what are you going to grab? Um, I want just some kind of like comms hacking tool. 
kind of thing I can hopefully use to hack my phone and track that call. Cool. Um, so effectively, yeah, okay. You, you, you've you picked up, as I say, some sort of uh, 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 hacking and tracking tool. And the first time you use this, uh, you, can, mm -hmm, you are rolling uh, Unleash Your Powers with uh, Mundane. Which is lower than your freaks. You could have just like yeah, unleash <laughs> your powers. <laughs> you didn't need to use the power. You just needed to take it. But it's cool because that's what the character does, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, I don't have to use mundane. So yeah, it's I'll true. Keep, I'll keep that tool and I'll still try and unleash my power. Oh wait, I've got a digital dice I can use. And you I can shall try and unleash. All physical. It's all is fine. <laughs> oh, that stuff. Oh no, it's an eight on the dice. Knocks down. Stays an eight, right? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, if if you if you if you're using, I'll use freak. Um, it's nine. Yeah. So um, I will succeed. However, it is some way unstable or temporary, Dave. Okay. Uh, so we'll say it, it's uh, it, it is a, it is unstable, temporary. Um, you're pretty sure that um uh. uh uh, the shadow is also using uh, a kit that could belong to well that other guy who used to look at the shadow. But he's got Raptor kit, uh, and he uh, you you you've got him, you've tracked him, uh, and all of a sudden he goes, "Oh no, you don't!" and hits the squelcher button. But you know where his last location was. Cool. Right, guys, I got his last location. Good. Where? Yeah. Point. I'll toss you the device. Let's it go. I hold it and I look at it and I'm like, what am I doing with this? Tell me where to go. Let's let's try to use doors. I think. Like mm. I know that this the, the shortest route is a straight line, but we should not just break through all of the walls between here and there. We must respect the laws of this station. It sounds like there are none, but fine. Uh, no, Badge there guy are. said there were some. And his badge wasn't made out of his hand, it seemed real. Hmm. Okay, fine. We will use doors, even though it will make us much, much, much slower. I mean, I could travel as a beam of light, but then we'd be splitting up. You know, we all have to make concessions. Let's stick together on this. I do have to say, though, that telling me to use doors does sound like Danger Beam is trying to shift my labels, and she does have influence over me, I think. Oh, right? no, I yeah. think... I'm not, I'm not trying sure to shift your labels. I think you're awesome and your rock power is awesome. I just think in this moment, it's not prudent. I know, but that's exactly shifting your labels. I'm not sure she's uh, telling you who you are. She's just asking you politely to use a door. Yeah. I mean, I can shift yeah, your labels fine. if you really no, want me to. Like, but... I'm just saying it would be cool, but yeah. Um, Let's use all the abilities of the game. <laughs> that's true. Um, it's it's a, I think that's a question. So let's take a pause there just to unpack what's happening there because I think what we want to be clear is is, is the, the level of consent that people have in relation to this. But it sounds it sounds or like to me that what uh, it might be the case is to convince to convince the immovable object that is Doomitron not to do this, someone's probably going to have to tell them what they are or try and comfort or support them. Or hit them over the head with a stick. Provoke me. Okay. <coughs> yeah, provoke is the other way. I will provoke. But um, technically, I already agree, so I just think it's shifting. Like, I wouldn't disagree with you. It's just that I need to be somehow changed. So they're, they're you telling know, you the unchangeable you thing. Okay, so yeah, that's what I feel like. Sure. So you're accepting that, and that will allow uh, um, Harmony to shift the labels because they have consented to such a thing. Yeah. Just I just want to use all the abilities of this game, and because uh, <laughs> um, it's fun. All right. Just what do you then think? I'm... Telling me not to, like to start using doors would mean. Maybe shift your danger down one and your savior up one because you'd be acting in a fashion that would probably help Accept people it. more. Excellent. Very accommodating of you, Numatron. Mm -hmm. And then I open the door. I don't break it. Look so, at him go, Rana. I'm surprised you used them. 
Which one of us? The one made of light. I only do to fit in with the rest of you. I'm trying to be part of the team. Okay, so the um, you've got to travel away from the ships and down. You're literally going at and a um, it's it's a gif that you've got to get on, and the driver is a, a, a robot that, that waves and says, "Where are you going?" Uh, and when you give him the coordinates, he went, "Whoa, that's one hell of a dive bar." You sure you want to hang out there? He said, "You're gonna get yourself killed." Wouldn't you like to go We're somewhere rough. else, like one of the casinos? We're as rough as they come and salty as sailors. So by Jiminy, you take us where we want to go. It'll get darn frisky in a minute. Have you ever seen a rock die? Because I never what they said. Ball. I'm just offering you advice. Uh, I'll take you there. And uh, the skiff zips away. And Best. down. You are, you are give... shooting say down through uh the well the space that sits between the rib cages and the travel you take is almost like almost uh, at speed uh you're traveling dozens if not hundreds of miles across to one of the rib bones of the dragon down towards the foot and the claws uh and there is uh a set of effectively um um space basket gang uh gear outside as this thing docks up um, and he says, he says, don't pick a fight. Don't upset the singer. Proper diva, huh? <laughs> like you would not believe. Oh, uh, we believe. We believe. We know of such divas. <laughs> uh, they are formidable foes, though. So sorry. we will take your words in hand. Stay safe. Uh, and it zips away. Um, the bikes outside are, are effectively uh, three engine uh, uh, space bikes. They're the sort of thing you might see uh, Lobo riding on uh, if we're in the other comic universe. Um, there is a gang outside uh, various different alien races wearing uh, sort of uh, encounter suits around them to. Um, right off at any moment they have the same uh symbol on their uh, uh jackets showing that they're part of the same gang what what symbol is that uh um orchid uh i think it's it's like an x but they wanted to emphasize how how much it was an x so it's a bunch of X's on top of each other in different like colors. Like someone, <laughs> yeah, just went like that a bunch of times. That's how you know they're threatening that many X's. Someone threw the X card like. Yeah, they've been X carded by every team in town. Oh, so uh, as you sort of approach, you can hear something inside singing uh and it's sort of it's quite melodic uh but it's not hitting those top notes it, it, it's failing um and the gang sort of look at you and one of them sort of um, says who are you guys supposed to be and uh specifically looks at ryan and says you look like you're the entree <laughs> ryan's gonna puff their chest right up which, um, because they're a frog person, actually, it swells quite yeah. substantially. I'm the sh... Ah. He's Looks trouble, like that's what he is. Rana just nods emphatically. Looking Don't mess with my friends. I pointed that guy. So, <laughs> he looks, he goes, no trouble, no trouble. He says... You know, I wouldn't eat you, Froggy. It's okay. There's another one of your guys. We saw him earlier. He's all right. The, sh the shadow, right? It's what he calls himself. Where is he? Yes. I don't know. I ain't looking after him. Cheers, well, where did he? Hmm? Where did he go? What direction? Outside? Inside? 
because he was in the bar. He said, you need to watch your tone. I don't care what you're made out of. I crush you with my fist and this sort of large uh, metallic fist crackles with energy. Okay. Just wanted to let you know, he's really hard to crush. Like, I, I'm not trying to like harsh your evil dude vibe or whatever you're going for, threatening, but like my friend here, He's like an unstoppable for you really just for your own sake. Um, I am angry. I'm going to crush his hand. So you're going to directly engage the threat or you're going to unleash your powers? Whatever you think is more fitting in this situation is the threat. I think trying to un overcome the obstacle. The direct engage a uh, threat is sort of, I think, uh, specifically getting into a fight. If you unleash uh, your powers, you can disable the uh, gauntlet he was waving in your face. Provoke, to provoke him to stand down, basically. Yeah, I don't you, know. Could, oh, you could use provoke then. If, if, I think it's, if, it's, if, it's, if you're specifically... Uh, yeah, go for provoke. Specifically, what I'm trying to do is break his hand. <laughs> <laughs> then that would be unleash your powers, right? If, if you're okay. actually physically trying to harm them, yes. I think you need to try and see if that works with the unleash your powers. Then you can escalate into a provoke. Because mm -hmm. I am angry, and God, I hate when it does that. You're right, it always goes down by one. Uh, that's a five. And how much is my freak? One. So that's a six, unless someone helps me. <laughs> I don't think I it's happened. I am not helping you start a fight. <laughs> yeah, I, I just actively tried to prevent the fight, so I probably you, shouldn't now go the opposite Are you the selfishly direction. use team to achieve your Oh, right, I could use selfishly. Oh, I always forget yeah. you can do that. And why uh, you uh, it does it work. Yeah, I need to check how it works. So, uh, Team Gunnels has been turned to your ass selfishly. When you ask selfishly, say so your actions ignore or insult your teammates. Remove yeah. one <laughs> oh, team, shift one label up and one down of your choice. Yeah, so I'm, I think what I'm doing is directly ignoring my teammates who are trying to de-escalate the situation. Um, so I'll raise my freak by one and lower my savior by one. Because, <laughs> um, you know, she hired my savior a second ago. Um, <coughs> and break his hand. Okay. The, Dang it, uh, The, 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 uh... Prize gauntlet made out of, of uh, uh, lace with dark matter steel cracks under your fist. Uh, and doom, after all. Uh, I say there is this moment of yelping pain, and then the look at rest of them look at uh, each other. Is anyone going to stop this from escalating into a full on uh, space biker fight? I'd like That's to try. Way. How are you going to do that? Uh, I'm going to say, close your eyes, guys, and hope that they do it, because I'm going to turn into pure light and attempt to temporarily blind everyone in the room. Oh, you're telling us to close our eyes. I We're not yeah. in the room. Yeah. We're yeah. still outside the bar. You haven't even gone out of the bar yet. This, this is just like, you know. <laughs> I was just adding like car, and car. you just escalated into a, like a five-page fight. I just need to hurt someone. Okay, so you're going to uh, unleash much. your powers definitely to try and do this, right? Yeah. And that's plus freak, is it? It's, uh, it is. Okay. So that's a 14. So on a full plus, it's, uh, you do it. You, you uh, reshape your environment, overcome an obstacle, or extend your senses. So, you, so I'm going to uh, overcome the obstacle of this biker gang by just going like, like flashing with like a pulse of light. Not enough to blind them permanently, but enough that sure. they certainly can't see for a few minutes. So we can get maybe in the bar and hide. Yeah. Or something. I hope you two actually closed your eyes. Yeah, when I said, I'm close pulling your my eyes. hood over my face. So we uh, see that flash of light, which I think ends the panel, and then we turn over the page to see you entering the bar. But it's just gone <coughs> eight o'clock there, so let's take um, five minutes. Oh, sorry. 
so I'll also ask, would you say that, this, that scene is over? Yeah. Would you say I hurt someone or break something important? Uh, you hurt someone and you broke something important. Well, there. Not, not massively important, but you did hurt someone, yeah. Yeah, then angry is clear. Yay. Okay. I just need cool. to break someone, something. So let's let's take uh, five minutes there, folks. We'll come back for about seven or eight minutes past the hour, and then we'll enter into the bar. Let's restart. The doors uh, open, um, uh, and you step into the bar. This is, this is like that opening scene uh, uh, when the Mandalorian arrives in episode one of the Mandalorian. Uh, available on uh, Disney Plus, right? You sort of see the three of you walk in and there's already a uh, kerfuffle in the bar, but uh, the three of you walk in. At the start of the bar, we can see this this huge, huge figure, bigger even than Doomatron, uh, has got a sort of um, a floating microphone and is singing in a uh, falsetto uh, voice. Um, the the uh, audience seem to be paying attention to them. You're not entirely sure if that's out of fear or adoration. I said, scaly, huge, red eyes, singing, bare-chested. It's a romantic ballad in a country and western-ish sort of style. <laughs> So the figure, I get the uh, feeling I would like it. The figure looks at you when you come in and sort of stops mid-song and says, take a seat. You can get up in the break. Should we take the advice of not uttering the singer or do we not care? I mean, I think we I'll could... Point sit and look around. I'll point to some seats. Yeah, we can sit Fine. and then scope out for the shadow, fake shadow, other but shadow. Only because I do like the singing. It, it's, it's, not, it's not bad. He's sort of one of those people that get a turn on a chair on the voice. They're a B minus. Sounds amazing. Yeah, but, but by intergalactic dive bar uh, standards, pretty good singer and puts down the mic, uh, and then there's clapping uh, from the audience, uh, and he sort of whoops off from there and heads back behind uh, the bar and starts uh, then pouring the drinks. Multi-talented. Good. The great singing is over. Let's find um, the fake shadow. And Rana's going to mosey on up to the bar with a mm -hmm. swagger that they've never had before. Sort of like almost like a John Wayne kind of walk, with the chest still puffed out. How how tall is uh, Rana? Five two. Cool. So you are you are looking effectively into their belly button. Slam a token on the bar. Give me something that won't kill me, partner. <laughs> So he goes, you're asking a lot in this bar, but sure. Said, two of you in one day. Are you with the other one? The shadow? Yeah. Supposed to meet up. I'll this time slide a second token onto the bar. Don't know where he is just now, do you? Says, I rendered him a room. He says, Upstairs, room Delta said, What did you think of my singing? Well, see that big rock guy there? Pretty much had to spend the entire time stopping him crying. He thought it was so beautiful. I like you a lot. <clears throat> There's no trouble in my bar. No trouble in your bar. The ceiling breaks. 
doors open and that gang come in, their eyes now cleared for the blinding, goes, there they are! Uh, and they make a, a move for you. I'm going to scream, no trouble in the bar, and run out back. <laughs> uh, I'm going to follow that by yelling at <laughs> Dubatron, run! And then I'm also going to run out back. I will look at those people that are running at us and look at the sing singer guy because he said no trouble in my he bar. Didn't say no trouble. And I will slowly head back. And and look and kind of look into the back to see what happens. <coughs> you sort of see him step over the bar and I said, No trouble. He said, You know what they did? No trouble. And you sort of see a fight starting to break out behind you uh, as you uh, escalate the stairs up into the um, I will look back at the fight and, yeah. and uh, kind of tell him, Do you need help? I was gonna he's suggest got, the same he's thing. Got Two of them under one arm, standing on a third one, and one in between his teeth, going, ah, oh, I'm fine. <clears throat> Your singing is beautiful as I go up the stairs. And you can sort of hear him like <laughs> spit one out and throw them through the window, and he goes, why can't I have more patrons like them? Not scum like you. <laughs> Good job, guys. I'm going to hit on that guy. Yeah, you can you can He's have you can have a, a, a point of influence um, over Zorg the songsmith. Well done. I also love his name, <laughs> Zorg the what smith? Songsmith. <laughs> Makes sense. Some people call him <laughs> Zorg the bartender, but he calls himself Zorg. <gasps> I would never. Like he sounds like he was a trap for harming me. <laughs> May have been. But uh, you, uh, yeah, there's the room, room Delta. So, Rana, you want to lead this one? No. Let's get Duma trying to kick the door open. Let's shock and awe. Isn't this your BFF? Yeah, but he'll probably run. All right. I, I do this to the door and fling it to the other side of the room. Like. <laughs> let's just uh, hope he was not between the door and the other side of the room. Well, let's, let's see how well that goes because you are trying to do that uh, to reshape the environment. So I'm going to ask you to unleash your powers. Sure. That's going to be fun. It's probably going to be between me and the. Because my rolls today have not been amazing. Are you sure about the numbers? Okay. That's a nine plus something. So 11, yeah. <laughs> 11. Bang. So it goes exactly as you uh, wanted to. Describe describe uh, how this works. In fact, you don't need to, but you wouldn't have been able to unleash your powers, would you? It would have been... Um, well, it could have been, but you've got special moves. But anyway, describe describe what it, what it, what it looks like. All right, I do. Um, I just like... Beep. The door, as it flies, I take a step in, and is it there? Uh, so you're pressing it or breaking it? What, what, how do you open the door? I'm not clear, sorry. I just, like, fling it with okay. my finger, and let the whole door just <laughs> into the wall right on the other side. I step right in, point at him, and say, I thought I told you to answer the questions. And... The room is in has been is being turned over uh, as we speak, and you see uh, this figure in the gold mask who carries a stave and wears a red uh, cloak and robe looks up at you, and the eye metal eye glows into light, <clears throat> and it says, "Ah," and he doesn't say anything else other than that but he makes uh for the window in the room which has been propped open you no. Wizard iron man stop right there i would like to unleash my powers to try and stop him oh exciting oh what we have this but, how uh, well, let's if, see I how make, if, if i make the roll i'll explain how Ooh, that's a 10 on the dice Ooh. Add in some freak, that's an 11. Pa-pa-pa-pow. 
Beautiful. Yeah, I am curious. Huh? Also, so, did Tenja Beam come from Earth or something? <laughs> she knows all these Earth Tenja, references. Tenja Beam comes from an egg. So. Yeah, but like she has all these Earth references. Like, I love it. It's, yeah, it's, it's all the movies and all the comics that Rana uh, makes Danger Beam watch. Because if you live in an exotic intergalactic universe, clearly you want to read comics about humans rather than about aliens, because aliens are boring. <laughs> humans are pink and have opposable thumbs and oh. are just weird and have strange names. That's why she got all that. Okay. So yes. So As Dimitrona stood in the door. That's full. Describe. Oh, sorry. Go for it. As Dimitrona stood in the door, dramatically pointing, Rana literally just cannonballs from between his legs and lands on the window. Like on all fours, sticking to it like Spider Man, blocking the way. And it's like, tell me what you want with the shadow. Is the shadow in here in the room? No. He says, nothing that concerns you, you nimble hellion. Step aside or pay the price. Um, but you did ask him that question, so you could uh, try to pierce the mask. Yeah, sure. I'll do a twofer. Oh, it's an 11 on the dice. Hot damn, that's a 10. So, piercing the mask. Let's go. Um, how could I get your character to believe that I'm the shadow? You're, you've got enough things, um, you know, that you could probably drop in that you've got, you've got the package. You certainly look the meet the piece. You can, uh, probably, uh, even if it came down to it, um, uh, emulate the speech patterns and the words that, uh, uh, Gert would use enough. So you've got enough that could lie outrageously. Uh, you know, who's going to know one, uh, um, alien frog person from another. And what are you really planning? Oh, they're here to take this package, uh, uh, either through um, um, payment or by force, preferably by force. Rana will change their demeanor entirely and like flop off the window and say, whoa, 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 it's me, it's me, and pulls the hood off. It's the shadow. Stand down, guys. Sorry, we'd heard you were going to try and ambush us and take the package. Can't be too careful. He does know who I am, I assume. Yes. Definitely knows who you are. <clears throat> Says you're traveling with strange company, and that one is an enemy of the, uh, of the unity. That one's the best muscle you can buy on the market right now. Looks at you and then looks at Dumatron and says, then we will have a truce at this moment. But when this is done, when this is done, uh, pet, I shall take you back in collar and chains to my master. When this is done, I'll break you in two. So much. I was going to say, toxic alienicity. Hey, I already paid for that rock. But maybe we can work a deal out afterwards. Your thoughts are to all the same, core welders in your domes, dreams of credits and tokens. <clears throat> Give me what my uh, what I came for. Give me a place and a time and bring the money. And given you were trying to steal my package, bring 25% more as an apology. Oh, you're going to need to provoke that shizzle. Oh, what does provoke go off? Superior, I think. Nice. I got uh, eight. So I want to provoke. 
79. I believe this stumble. I think they choose. Um, oh. Which means this can go very good or very bad. <laughs> oh, they can instead choose one. So you yeah. have to choose one. They can still like just accept it. So I'm trying to get them to give us more money because I'm still a bit greedy and I'm channeling the GERT and that's what GERT is, to be honest. I'll give you what we agreed and then I will forget the slight that you're working with that one. How does that work for you? I think we're going to be great friends by the time this is over, you and I. But that means what you have done is you have gained influence uh, over Aegon uh, of the Dancing Fane. Ooh. I don't suppose the voice in my head is giving me any instructions in this confusing situation, is it? What's, what, what is... Um, what is um um uh, right sorry what is orchid finding confusing at this point pretty much everything uh i think like <laughs> the shadow is now not the shadow but is the shadow again in pretend and dumatron is apparently like a foe of this guy but now we're all gonna work together only i can't tell it like all of the um machinations are a bit beyond her earnest understanding of how people communicate she doesn't even know like should she go along with this also i think he just he talks to her anyway in my imagining but so remind us about the voice because we haven't really heard the voice uh, since we discussed it in character creation that's why i brought it up i was like oh i forgot so there's a voice in my head that acts as my mentor that I assume is good. Uh, we don't know who he is. And one of my lessons is that I'm not supposed to ever reveal that he exists because well, I have the humans won't understand, but presumably the frog people and rocks won't understand either. It says this voice saying, the thing that the uh, the thing that the frog boy has in his possession cannot fall into the hands of unity. <clears throat> it is not okay. of this place. It is from the same place as you are. Oh, that's very, very important information. So we can't, well, we weren't going to let unity have it anyway, right? But I now have like much more drive to make sure that we figure that out. Okay, good. I will keep that in mind, literally and otherwise. Aegon, uh, um, sort of the, the stay that Aegon has collapses back down into a small little uh, tube, puts it onto their uh, belt, sushes oh. Park in a red cloak past. It's uh, just like Rana's. Uh, same serial numbers filed off. Uh, it walks past you and then uh, and then looks at uh, uh, Dumatron and says, "I look forward to hearing you scream." Are you all done, like with the posturing? Should I hit him now? <laughs> that that no, that still falls under the posturing. You two need to like just just calm it down. Or get a room. If this is come. some like mating ritual or something. Otherwise, <laughs> like we need to move along. <laughs> he serves the man who tortured me. Listen to your mother beam. <laughs> there will be plenty of time for retribution later. If he is exiting through the well door opening, like to do something, then I just look at him like that throughout the entire process and holding my hands back. 
you were incorrigible. It sort of, um, yeah, it sort of leaves you three in the room. Is there anything you want to do here? What do yeah, you finish looking in the room. <laughs> yeah, we need to find that little thing. <clears throat> so, uh, if you want to find something here, you're investigating the scene, which means you need to use the assess the situation unless you have any suitable uh, I got, type move. I got straight up creeping. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Bloop. Dice a six. Stat should be a uh, mundane. Oh, it's a five. I fail. Mark potential. And on a miss, you find yourself over your head. The gym will tell you why this is a bad spot. So something's going to go wrong for me. If we both help, you could succeed. Because that's exactly seven. <coughs> Is that only, I'm afraid you've only got one team. So, uh, oh, then. You spent it, you spent it uh, uh, acting selfishly, so I'm afraid you can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if only you were more team orientated. <laughs> Uh, You'll probably find it. Elsewhere then, off panel, we see uh, Aegon once again. Uh, Aegon has bowed on one knee and uh, the form, holographic form of unity uh, floats in front of them. <clears throat> he said, this, um, uh, I can't remember, your alien race, I'll find it now. Uh, this, uh, 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 Buffo Wretch is stronger than uh, I expected. It has the heart of a warrior. <clears throat> it is a firebrand, a hellion. <clears throat> it would do well in your service, my master. And uh, Unity says, then bring it to me and I shall make it kneel. <laughs> I, I imagine Unity's sound is like really high pitched. Then bring them to me. Sounds sounds and looks a lot like Prince, maybe, but we'll I won't just overly describe them without I would have given that to Harmony to describe. It's too central to their character. So they're just shadowy and hood hooded and probably would have been uh repainted by George Lucas in a sequel anyway, right? So Yep. So that's how it gets worse for you. <laughs> Um, but no, no evidence can be found at this point uh, that would lead you to uh, to good. Then I guess we're waiting here for your friend. It's nice you guys have better ideas. Or better luck. Out of character for a second. I'm so confused as to who has this package. Do we know who has the package? Does the other shadow have it? Yeah. So that's what I think. <laughs> Gert, Gert has the package. Gert has Ran the package. Okay. Yeah, and he didn't sell it yet because otherwise they would have it. Right. So we really need to find Gert. Or, yeah. Or wait for him here. Yeah. Or we make a fake package and we do the deal and we run with the money. We need that package. We still need the package, yeah. Do we? Yes, it sounds important. If and Unity then, wants it, then we should be the ones holding it. Because they could get oh. their hands on it, even if, even if we sell them, like they'll notice the fake one is fake, and then they'll just go for the real one. We you know, need we don't want French. bad guys getting things they want. For leverage. No, not leverage. Just that because if they need it, they should not ever have it. I want it also. But not for right. any reason. I just do. Mm. <laughs> okay. If you mean Gert has it, it was probably stolen. Wait. I feel like something more important is happening here. Why do you want the package that Unity wants? And I totally trying to pierce your mask. Uh, you should roll to do that. Um, I got a lot, um, except that it's mundane, right? Yeah. So it's at, wait, 10 minus 2 is an 8. So I don't think you can cancel it completely <coughs> by any move. Okay. 
right? Like you can try to defend for PC threats. You can give me minus two, but that's not enough. I don't think so. So yeah. Oh, I do have influence over you, so I have plus one, so it's nine. Okay. So I skip. Hey, use the last one of team from the uh, pool. If, yeah, Rana could help me pierce her mask. <laughs> mm, Rana's a bit preoccupied feeling to rummage through this room. Looking for all the places that Gert would hide so, something. It's a seven to nine then, so you'll get to ask, uh, you will ask Danger Beam one question. Mm. How could I get your character to tell me why you need that? You would have to really demonstrate in a way that felt uh, like super solid that you would trust me and believe in me even if I had like a weird thing like a bullseye in my head. Because the mm. lesson that I'm following is that people won't trust me if they know about it. So if I believe you trust me like 100%, you could maybe get me to tell you. Um, I don't think I can. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Maybe not like, at this minute. Yeah, maybe in the future. Time. There could be like a, yeah, an opportunity to present itself, I imagine. Danger Beam is inclined very positively towards both of you. She just also has her secrets. She doesn't want to be kicked out of the group. Aww. Like, that too. just because she likes you doesn't mean you like her. She gets yeah. insecure. So I, I, would I would never abandon Laser Egg. Laser egg. Um, I would just tell you my interest is to stop unity and anything else that is evil. If unity wants this and you want it, I would hope it's not for evil. No, the evil is not my bag, baby. But so it would have seemed up until now. You just did the opposite, for the record. Of the no, I know. <laughs> okay, just making sure that you were aware. I'm like, yeah. that's not going to convince you, but all right. I'm well aware. So should we wait for him here, or do you think he already left? Because I assume there is a reason that monster of a slave to union came here. The package isn't here which means he's either got it or he's got it stashed somewhere else. We should find him. It seems to me that Budget Iron Man scared your friend off and he probably ran with the package. Mm. Oh, we scared him off. Ren where? Um, I have an idea. Don't you be like, if that thing comes from the same universe as you, maybe like you can sense it? Like, do you think you have the ability? Pause that. Did that come out? Was that something that only um, uh, Danger Beam knows? No, I'm saying out of character. If she knows oh, yeah. it, can she find it? Like, is that part of your powers and skills? Could, maybe you could unleash your power to f like, feel it or something. I'm just saying, like, as an idea. One of my powers is um, that they evolve and mutate when I'm facing an obstacle or threat that they, my powers couldn't handle. I can mark a condition to gain new abilities, but it's when in the face of danger, and I don't know if this counts as being up against danger. So yeah. but let, me, let me remind you what Unleash Your Powers does. When you unleash your powers to overcome an obstacle, reshape your environment or extend your senses, roll plus freak. So it's within the definition, as long as you can narrate it, uh, of what Unleash Your Powers can do. The question is, I can do it without revealing yes, why you... I could sense it. Oh, the uh, others, but... let, let, let's, let me set this for you as, as a condition then, right? If you succeed on your roll on a 10 plus, then you can keep it uh, safe. Uh, if you do it on a hit on a seven to nine, uh, it will, um, uh, they will be able to detect what is going on. That will be the unstable effect. Uh, and if you fail, well, we'll figure that one out when we get to it. All right. 
unleash it is. Let's hope for the best, maybe. So that's a 10. Ms. Freak. Whoop. So describe what you do. Uh, so I'm going to make a big show of like, sort of going around the room as though I were like sensing the essence of this thing, uh, which I am not doing in real life, but. Do, do you want some burning sage? Something like that, yeah, yeah. Just be like, I might be able to find it. Hold on. Uh, and then like do this and like beams of light come out of my head. They're not blinding though, don't worry. <laughs> Danger. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I'm like, I think I, I think I know where it is. <gasps> For real? Yeah, it left an energy signature that I, I'm able to pick up on somehow. You know exactly it where it is. It's hiding behind a false wall in the wardrobe. Uh, so just give me a second, guys. And then I'm just going to go get it <laughs> from the wardrobe and be like, I think this is it. You pull, you pull, you pull it open and then you, we can see a uh, cut, cut panel to see uh, this full panel of dirt hanging, holding onto this, this uh, uh, case and looks up and goes, oh, hey, Rana. Give me that. No, give me that. I'm the one who found them. Give us, give it's mine. Danger beam. I stole it fair and square. Well, I'm no. stealing it from you now. Give it to no. me. No, girl. That's the shadows. And Rana's <laughs> going to pull the hood back up. But still, the give shadow it to me. says, "Give it to the laser girl." <laughs> um, you're going to need to provoke them. Who wants to lead a provoke? I, I don't really care who gets it, as long as it's not with him, by the way, just to be clear. <laughs> I think provoke is superior, and we all have the same. We all feel like we're superior a little. <laughs> Danger beam, you provoke. All right. This doesn't go well. I'm going to try to unleash my powers, just to let you all know. I want that package. That's a nine. If anyone wants to assist, if we have any team left, it could become a ten. You have one team but left. I was helping. I, well, yeah, we well, both I think, were, technically. Yeah, I think that, that works fine. We can say that helps, and uh, that will push the team down to zero, but push you up to a, a ten on a provoke. So they, um, they sort of extend the case out to uh, uh, Danger Beam, and sort of Gert says, we both came up with the idea of sh the shadow when we were in the orphanage. It's not just all yours. I was using it to do real justice. Real justice and make a difference in the galaxy, uh, Rana. I was doing it to make sure that I was never poor again. Justice? You're selling something to unity, an intergalactic tyrant. <clears throat> Look, but there's a really important reason for this. Because you don't want to be poor? Yeah! You know what? Yeah, we both dreamed of being the shadow and doing all these cool things, but what's the point of a dream when you have to trample over other people to get it, Gert? And the whole universe. What's the point when you're on top of a pile and someone else is burning it down? We've got to be responsible for what we do, bro. We've got to be the better person. Yeah, bro. I don't know if it will do anything, but it does sound like comfort or support. Yeah. Towards wanna... the NPC. And I heard it can be used in NPCs. So yeah, I'm, can, gonna put a hand on, I'm gonna put a hand on his shoulder and be like, <coughs> I've not forgotten where I came from. I, I wanna make it for all the people who are still where we were. So because it's an NPC, again, this would be closer really, because the, the, there's not, you can't really shift the label. So you're trying to get an NPC to do what you want them to do. So this would be, and here your words. So it was a provoke in this instance. Yeah, sure. I'll throw some bets. 
Because mm-hmm. they also don't have Ooh. any conditions, I assume. I got a three on the dice, so that I fail. I marked some potential. So you marked potential, and Gert has heard you and immediately believes. goes, I'm so sorry, man. I've let you down. I'll give him a big hug. Now I'm going to come in for like a group hug because that is a thing I have seen in many movies. Uh, and then do we I, all look at Domatron expectantly? Yeah. Well, we look at like Domatron gesturing. expectantly. And as you're looking at that, behind you, uh, you would see, if you were the audience looking at the comic book, that Gert has just switched the uh, identity chips between uh, Gert and Rana. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> You guys are looking at me and like unexpectedly. I'm like gesturing for you to bring it on in for a hug. Yeah. Come on, man. I slowly come and kind of hug. I'm confused by why we're hugging. It's like a crush, only use love. I'm well aware of what a hug is. I'm just confused as to what it has to do with this criminal. While we are hugging him, I point at him like from above. He's not a criminal. He's. He's my friend. He just He's selling things to Unity. Not anymore. Right, Kurt? I've I've, I've learned the I've learned the error of my ways. I'll never sell anything to Unity ever again. So you do I will break you. I still have you like... all through this. So as as uh, Doomatron has actually given a hug, which means that their pose has got to have changed, I would say that Doomatron can comfort and support someone in the team. Um I th- I think I'm kind of because Dentro Beam such is tr- trying to get me to come yeah. to the hug. So, I mean, I'm kind of like her, I guess, because she asked for the hug, basically. Cool. Oh, I assume, basically, like, I don't know. Uh, I will roll. Works That's plus me. mundane. That's going to be terrible, though. I have minus two in that. Oh, but it's uh, five plus three is eight, right? So, minus two is a six. But I do have influence over you. So that's plus one. So that's a seven. Okay. So when a hit, if they hear you uh, from the hub of support, they can mark potential clear condition or shift their labels. Uh, oh yeah, well I think Danger Beam, you know, has noticed that uh, Dubatron is not the most touchy-feely generally. So Milo, what do you want, bud? Sorry, my dog is just going nuts today. Oh. Um, Maybe he wants to join. Come on, bud. Come on. He's trying. He's um, become the new shadow. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many, after all. Um, yeah, no, I think because I know that Dutron's not typically very touchy feely, and he's, I'm proud of him for not crushing all of us. Uh, and also, I do really want this object and don't really object to him threatening the person who was trying to seal it. Like, I don't want him to hurt anyone, but at the same time, we don't want that package so, going elsewhere. So I will totally accept the comfort so of the So how do you open up, though? Like, what do you do or say? Or uh, I think once, once Dumatron's actually fully in, or one arm in and one arm pointing, however it was, uh, he like hugs and end like, points, like because yeah. he has big enough arms. Yeah. So once I'm once I'm sure he's not crushing anyone, I kind of just <laughs> gently lay my head on his like rock arm, like a the team is here. That he's starting to think he might not be looking for that thing to do evil. It's nice. See, team. I forget what the result mechanically of doing this is, but I like it anyway. Uh, you can mark potential clear condition or shift your labels if you open up freely. But I will mark you... potential. I don't yeah. have any somehow. So Gert Uh-oh. looks at you, sort of, uh, uh, Rana, and sort of dusts you down and looks at you, look at you, like some justice man. Uh, wait, wait, it was cool, cool to see you, cool catching up. Let's, let's not leave it so long next time. Bye. Uh, and turns to leave. Wait, Gert, before you go. Turns. You, listen, I'm sorry. You can be the shadow. I'll I'll find something else. Also, you'll have a bounty of ten thousand credits on you, dead or alive. So yeah, watch out. I'm so proud of you, bro. A ten thousand credit bounty. Like I didn't think we would ever manage that. 
for a moment there's a thought bubble uh, sort of starting to you, the thought bubble's got an image of a scales being weighed up in Gert's head and he goes whoa I made it I better keep safe then bye <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you get safe for a while. I'll catch up with you soon. See, I'll turn into team. Like, he clearly got himself wrapped up in something out of his water, but he's gone now, and we're here, and we can totally sabotage this deal now. Yes. We should put that on our ship first, perhaps, in a hidden compartment of some sort. I was going to say the same thing. I think we should make sure it's safe before meeting with them. I was going to say, say the same thing too. Jeez. Jeez. The wow. whole team it. thing, it's coming together. It is. I mean, I Great mind. I just, I just wanted to have that moment. I still appreciate it. I kind of pat you on the head like... Great minds think alike, even when they fake it. Should we fix the door before we leave? I think it's going quietly. Something. Yeah. I do have Maybe. something to do here before we leave, though. But it will be done by myself. Are you going to put people on the bed? What? What? Forget I mentioned it, and I'll leave. What? I didn't hear what you said, though. Are you going to poop <laughs> on the bed? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's too early in the morning, my time for this. <laughs> what? <laughs> So as you guys leave away, I will go okay. to that singer guy. Uh, but what did you think it's going to happen? Um, I will go, like, is he singing right now? I assume not. Yeah, let's say he, let's say he, he is. Uh, he's quite oh. versatile, right? So he's gone out of, of country and western uh, and now singing the equivalent of intergalactic bluegrass. Sweet. <sighs> I, I sit down and I wait for it to end first because it's amazing. Yeah, it, it finishes. And, um... and without trying, I do have tears in my eyes because he was there to stop me from crying. Oh. Um, the tears, though, like, you know, they become rocks instantly. So it's like, I just have a bit more rock on my face. You cry with diamonds. Diamonds, yes, why not? <laughs> I... We'll walk to him and, um, I mean, I don't have pockets, but um, I take out a rock from me, basically, and mark, like, a number, which is my communication number on the ship, and I give it to him. He takes the rock, he goes, well, thanks. Me, please. What do you what uh what do you want me to do with it? It's my number. Uh, personal number. I kind of scratched the back of my hand. Uh, sweet. Um, I'll uh, I'll like call you sometime. But I would like to hear your voice more personally. Uh, it looks at the other I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be happy to arrange like a, uh, private show for you at some point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, I, I kind of lift my hand to shake his hand or something, but I'm not really sure. And then I just turn back and walk out. <laughs> uh, look. Like, Likewise, uh, Zorg has never had someone try to ask them on a date before, so it's also confused. Um, I'm sure there'll be a budding romance follow-up from this. Zorg and, sure. Zorg and Doomatron's dinner date will, will make an appearance in... Will quake yeah. the universe. <laughs> okay, that sounds amazing. So, you have the case... Uh, Gert has exited. And What's we're off the plan? To the space hawk. So uh, we're back on board the space hawk. The lights flicker on to the clear and crisp chrome as you enter in. 
uh, and you can see that uh, the comms had left a message uh, from uh, you presume the raptor because he's the only one who's sort of able to contact you here but what are you doing uh, it looks like we've got a message danger beam should we listen to it i mean it's usually better than not listening to messages what if there's something important in it yeah what if there's something angry in it then we don't call them back push the button uh we uh see uh the raptor uh appear in the recorded hologram you know I don't know what's going on out there. I had some really weird signals from the ship. If I didn't know better, I'd say you'd slingshot around the sun. But surely no <sighs> one's that foolish, Harmony. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God he wants Harmony. <laughs> There's, uh, I've had a, we've had, it said, <clears throat> I've picked up chatter on the uh, signals that you uh, have been seen uh, working uh, with um, so you, you, sorry, you have stolen a cruise liner. Alaria uh, seems to believe this. I think this is probably a misunderstanding, but you need to get in contact very quickly. They think you kidnapped a stale the solar songstress. <clears throat> it says, and if the coordinates I'm getting in from the ship are correct, you're in one of the most dangerous places in the galaxy. And uh, our tracking suggests that Aegon of the Dancing Fain is there. He's out of your league. Keep away from him, kids. <clears throat> Call me. And then the comm goes. Well, I think this is great news. Because if this is one of the most dangerous places in the galaxy, I mean, like, we handled everything just fine. I, I mean, think that is... makes us, like, an excellent superhero team. I mean, it's great because only Harmony's in trouble. You heard him. Yeah, no, that's Harmony is in trouble, and the rest of us can take on the most dangerous people in the galaxy. No. That was good we're, news. Yeah, we. I feel. <laughs> it also I means feel, from here forward, it's just smoothed down. Like, if this is yeah. most dangerous. No, we've been underestimated yeah. by him yeah. and by Aegon. I say it's true. we bring back the cruise liner with Aegon in tow. Let's go take him in, prove that we're ready to. Stand with the big boys. That's when I'll arrive and be. Did you like, hide the thing? They think. No, like the last, like the last few days together, us, like Dumatron, like you fought that Cyclops. Like I've never seen anyone fight before. Danger Beam, you're not from around here, but you've got smarts that others don't. Like you see things that aren't there. You're versatile. You're always there when we need you. Like together. We're a great team, and we can do this. And I uh... are we celebrating a victory together? Yep. And I've told you both, you're awesome. And I'll it's, add a team to the pool. It's it's funny because we haven't won yet. <laughs> and if you tell me I'm awesome, we get to add another team to the pool. I loved the way that you like you can be the shadow when you need to be the shadow, and then when you don't, you aren't. And then when the other shadow, I don't really know how to describe this, but I thought you handled everything like a boss. Aw, thanks, buddy. And I think you are extremely resourceful and very usable for us, and that is amazing. We're the best team. We're all amazing. Did you just see the Amazings? The Amazings. Or like Team Amazing? Should we just put the team name as the Amazings until Harmony says no? Yeah, she's going to say no, isn't she? Yeah, but let's just use it for now. I yeah, couldn't okay. care less what our name is as long as it continues. The I feel amazings. like she's going to be like Harmony and the Amazing. <laughs> is what's going to happen. Does that mean she is not? You see, you already had the Supremes, but we're still pretty good. <laughs> I Go team is the point. Yes. Yeah. Go Did you hide the thing? So was that one team, by the way, all in all, that was adding to the team? Pulled out? That's two teams to the pool because they reciprocated. Okay. Uh, did you What's guys my... hide the thing we got? Wait, I wouldn't see what my move is, but then I'll answer. 
Oh, you want <laughs> all of us to do it? We'll check your team moves. I, I think you should probably you only use one per time, but do, do make sure you do, you, know, so. you do know your team moves. Yeah, I don't remember it at all. <laughs> I'm trying to find it in my, uh, 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 my thing. Yeah, because it doesn't state it anywhere in the info we have. When I share me. a triumph and celebration, ask them what makes them proud or happy about the actions they took and write a lesson based on it, either filling an empty slot or replacing an existing lesson. And I do have empty slots. So, cool. The, the bull uh, team move. Triumph is make them your love. Oh, if you share a triumphant celebration with someone, make them your love or rival immediately to mark potential. If they are already your love or rival, take influence over them and mark potential. That's the good one. And it is a good moment. Uh, but I think we can only use one, so. Yeah, I, I think ultimate, yeah. well. Rados is fine. Yeah, I think otherwise they go all go off at the same time, which sort of, I think, negates the, uh, the effect. You should be trying to lean into team moves. But I think someone, like as, as someone has escalated the team move, you probably wouldn't want them all going off at the same time. It feels like a bit of a ding, ding, ding then. Oh. Cool. It's okay. just coming up to the hour there, and um, doing the Raptors voice gives me a sore throat. Someone don't get something to drink. <laughs> so let's stop for five uh, minutes, folks. Come back just on the hour, uh, and then we'll figure out how you're going to confront or deal with Aegon. Okay. So where next? How do you plan to draw out and trap Aegon? I sort of want to look in the package. Well, we at least you. Sorry, the cat just like sneezed all over the keyboard. Uh, we at least need to like hide it, at, yeah. right? And before we hide it, it's like, should we look and see what it is? Because like, we don't know. And what if it goes missing? Or how do we know it's even the right package, right? You want to look at it. We we should know what's in there. Fine, we can open it. Like, what if it's dangerous or what if it's really but helpful? As quickly as possible, we need to meet him at the time and place we set with him. If we already set it, I'm not sure. Me neither. Didn't you tell him set a time and a place? You, you did. But you didn't you. give him your communication number? So he's probably going to talk to your friend. Yeah. Uh, That's maybe not ideal. Doesn't sound ideal because your friend might just try to sell him a fake. I mean, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt because you said he's reformed and he uh, said, but. Mm, I think he's probably going to run, knowing Gert. That doesn't sound that reformed, but okay. I'd have run and sell terrible hey. things to terrible people. If he's not here, he's not causing trouble or in trouble. So but what's if box? he's the what's way we... Box? Okay, but if, if he's going to call... If he's going to get a call from the guy, maybe you should call him. So yeah. it's going to get weird. Once we know what's in the box. Are you a frog or a cat? I'm a buffo. Right. Um, okay, fine. You call your friend, whoa, you call your friend, make sure that when Amon, right? Aegon calls him, he knows where to send him and then run away. And uh, we will open the box immediately after. Okay. The... Why don't we open no, the box on. first? Does my like mind voice say anything about it? <clears throat> this is not for them. Somehow that's what I thought. It said, and you are not ready for it. And I'm telling you who you are. Do you accept the influence? 
Uh, I probably would from head voice, yeah. <laughs> I think usually you need to tell her what you're changing and then she needs to decide. And like if it's something that fits, you might accept it. But if it's something that doesn't, you might not. Hmm. Yeah, we'll check that one. No, I don't have to declare beforehand. Cool. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I think just based on the fiction that's established so far, uh, I would probably not resist it at this point. Then I'm going to move your freak up one and your mundane down one. That makes sense. You're the freakiest. I am the freakiest. Super freaky, super freaky. Oh, it's a, um, it's a, that's what that's what it says. How you react to that information is up to you. As uh, what you do when. So, I'm going to make a case for hiding it now, taking care of the situation with Gurp and Budget Iron Man, and then looking at it later because. All of this stuff could be happening while we're looking. Like, we don't know what's in the package. We're going to want to look really carefully, probably. And if phone calls get made and stuff happens in the meantime, we could blow our chances. Don't you want to know what you're protecting? I feel like it's the, more important to make sure it's protected. Don't you want to know And then what we can know what we're protecting. Unity is haggling for. Yeah, but don't you want to not have GURP, like, give us up? Yeah, but I really want to see what's in the box. Like, I really want to see what's in the box. Rana, just switch the order in your mind. We have stuff we have to take care of. <sighs> Fine. I don't care either way. I'll go figure out the meetup. And girl will wander off a bit. Sad. Oh. So it ran a wonderful little bit sad. <laughs> it's like, you're confusing me. Are you verb now? Or Gert. Um, <laughs> so how are you doing know. this? Are you calling Gert to let him know that he should expect to call? Or are you, like, what's our play here, people? Oh, you have hacking tools. You, you, told, you told them where to meet and when. Oh, right. oh okay. okay. Yeah, that's that what was, that you, to remind you what you did, you should tell them where and when to meet. <laughs> cool. Because it, it wasn't really Apparently all of us missed it. detailed, so because it was left so vague, I wasn't sure if it was actually established. But if it was established, that's cool. So, oh, oh, guys, guys, actually, this time, this place, right? That's what was said in the room. Oh, well, we should go then. Uh, but we need like a. Do we have anything that looks like the box? We have. The no, box. we have to hide this box. We can't bring the box. The whole point is that we're not giving him the box. But they want what's inside the box. We take what's inside the box out, have a look, put it somewhere safe, bring the box or something else inside. Someone needs to provoke someone here. <laughs> Otherwise, this well, will yeah, not end. So, so, so I, I, think, uh, I think that uh, I'm going to say that it's, it's Rana provoking um, uh, um, Orchid at this point. So I think Danger Beam knows their mind, but maybe they'll listen to uh, Rana over the voice in their head. Does that make sense? Is everyone happy with that? So we will yeah. break the stalemate by the result of a provoke someone. The dice say five and provoke goes off superior, which is one. So it's six. But you do have influence over her, I think, right? There is influence. Does influence boost plus one, plus one to yeah. Plus one to all moves with Dendra Beam. Yep. Yeah. And does their influence over me negate nope. it or just they just well, negate? But it doesn't negate it, but but just so we are clear, what you can do with uh, influence if if and this is a good class choice here because if uh, uh, you want to take advantage of influence over someone, you can surrender the influence you owe over them and choose to give them a minus two on the move that they just made. I will inflict a condition on them. 
or take on an additional plus one and a move targeting them. So the plus one would give you a, uh, a just hit, but if Danger Beam does not want it to be a hit, they could burn the influence they hold over you, if they hold such a thing. Ah, which then uh, effectively is like, I've annoyed you enough that the relationship is slightly yep. different. <laughs> And, but you can't use defend, I assume, because that's not no, a threat. No, right? the mood, the mood no. is a hit. So the, 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 the only way that that can be moved back into a fail is that Danger Beam can choose to, to uh, give up the influence they hold mm. over um, Rana. What would you like the outcome to be? I think I'm more interested in seeing what happens if he succeeds. Okay. <gasps> that's the more interesting choice. So that means that you... Um, Okay, I will go for choose one. If you don't do it, mark a condition. Hmm. And now you can decide. Hmm. That's an interesting choice. Because I think whatever happens, there should be probably some freeing here. Okay. Um... What? Milo? I don't know what is up with him today. Um, if I don't do it, I mark a condition. Milo into Migli of Von Fluff and stuff, that is enough. What a name. It's not even his full name. Um, <laughs> uh, I will not do it and mark insecure. Yeah, I think. I, I want to know what's in the box, too, out of character. It's kind of great, okay. but I'm like, yeah. I feel like this voice in my head is a powerful enough influence that I would narratively not ignore it if possible. Fine, let's just go get ready to yes. see what we've gone then. And, and Ryan yeah. exit scene in a half. <laughs> um, I look for a similar box in, in the ship. Well, it's, it's like you can take, yeah, okay. It, it's like a uh, equivalent of a, 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 a sci-fi looking briefcase, right? That that shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. So I take one and also leave the room. And now Denture Beam is alone in the room. Say that again. Alone in the room. I, lost you, I lost a bit of the audio then. So I, I take the box, the, mm -hmm. the, the lookalike box, and head out of the room as well. And now Denture... Uh, beam is alone in the room. Sure. So Danger Beam is alone in the room. With the original box? Mm hmm Yeah. Well, I am very under the influence of that voice, but I'm also a teenager. You also I, don't know know that, I don't know that Danger Beam can resist taking a peek at what's in the box. Even though she's not ready, supposedly. It's not like you're going to eat it. You don't know. I do, I do want to make a suggestion. I want like only a pearl to know if it's in the box. <laughs> if it's Why? possible. I don't know. I just, I just feel like, like she takes a peek and in the comics you see her taking a peek. So she, the, her character should know. <laughs> we should. <laughs> I also think it would be annoying as fuck. <laughs> Well, David can always send me a private message. Right. Dancing, but we're gonna, there's a lot of people talking over each other there, I'm afraid. So, so I'm going to ask uh, Danger Beam what she is doing. I'm going to take a peek in the box. So when you open the box... Inside there is like there's an amphora jar, which is about that big, so probably about uh, you know a foot, two foot. It's made out of uh, an almost well, it is an opaque metal, but whatever's inside there sloshes around like lit flame with a bluish tinge, uh, and the sound of it moving in the jar is extremely uh, hypnotic. Whatever is inside there. It's got the same sort of light as you have, as if someone or something has bottled it. Like trapped. 
Can I, I'll try talking to it. I don't know if you can hear me through the jar, but are, are you alive? Uh, it sounds, no, I'm not gonna make you make a move for that. I, no, it, it's not, there is an intelligence there, but it's base cunning and not quite awake. It's, it's more primal and animal, but perhaps what's what you were like before you were hatched out of the egg. It needs an egg. All right, so I'm going to slam perhaps the box hatching, closed. Yeah, but perhaps it's hatched and just imprisoned. Who knows? But yeah, you slam it shut just as um, one of the other crew uh, come back in. They don't see you. I'm going to be looking for somewhere to hide it now. Uh, I'm going to assume we like know the ship well enough that I can. Yeah, find there's them. like this, like you know, there's a secure. This is a, this. This was this was the Raptor ship, right? So it's got a secure uh, place that you can lock the box into. All right, it's hidden. Let's go do this. So, are you going to the time and the place? See, my assumption as a GM when you were telling the time and the place is you were actually telling the time and the place rather than saying this time, this place. Because like the enemy go, what time and what place? So I think we went to that so sort of back and forth. So Aegon knows yeah. the time and the place that you, you mentioned. That right. was resolved. Uh, so uh, this whole like, station is built within the dragon skeleton, right? Yeah, it's almost like imagine that hung off, connected to, welded in, scrapped in, but right across the skeleton, people are, are making, uh, um, you know, have made homes here. Uh, some have managed to bore into the bone uh, and use and try to get some of the mineral and marrow out, which is uh, uh, a narcotic um, which can be sold elsewhere in even less scrupulous places. Yeah. So let's say we're on the skull. Mm hmm. That sounds like a really dramatic place. It's probably like what some large. Yeah, it's like in the head. Let's say it's probably like some large, uh, almost, I guess maybe like a recreational park, um, which has like a huge dome, which is one of the eye sockets of the skull, mm -hmm. through which you can see like all the stars in the nearby moons. Nice. What's the big ride? Oh, I don't mean like a theme park. I oh. mean just sort of like a... As in uh, a, you know, a, going, a going outside park? Yeah, like to kind of give people some place to walk and maybe have clandestine uh, meetings. Uh, I understand. I've forgotten what parks on the outside are like. I know, we all <laughs> did. It's where you get uh, arrested for spending too much time. <sighs> got one just outside my house and if a couple of times I've gone out into it it's full of, of joggers and dog walkers just going let's not go there let's go somewhere else instead <laughs> what is the color green so um look there's yeah it's very run down this park though it's very scrappy um not very healthy plants lots of weed and overgrowth and probably a good few garbage piles because this place is quite crap these days. Okay. So uh, we see Aegon appearing out of the darkness, uh, standing uh, tall and lithe. Um, to say they're wearing um, not the mask covers them, they've got the robe, they're wearing more ceremonial armor than anything else. This isn't mechanized, this is um, ritualistic. Uh, and they walk towards you, and as they do, that spear stave extends out. Click, 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 click. And it holds up uh, a scanner, uh, and you can all feel ID chips being accessed. <laughs> he goes, huh. It is you. Uh, Shadow, I hear there's another of your kind on the station. I was hoping that someone hadn't double-crossed me. Please, I'm a professional. I stand right behind you, by the way, with your really angry faces, constantly staring at that guy. 
Should we now, give Domatron the case to protect it? Yeah. Give me, give me the case, so I may uh, crush the skull of this traitor. Whoa, 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 whoa! Give me the money, so I may roll in it like Scrooge McDuck. That pushes back. Is <laughs> it pushes. Uh, <laughs> Should be like Howard the Duck. He was he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. That that's cosmic rule. Uh, pushes back the quilt <laughs> and then pulls out, and it's uh, a gem which is flawless and beautiful. Uh, you recognise it as a star opal. Oh. Uh, these things are forged in the hearts of dying suns. You could buy a planet with one of these. Good, really was yeah. going to make it. <laughs> says here and he throws it towards you I gotta uh, catch um, I throw the suitcase at him he takes it I don't give it I throw it at him on purpose because I want to punch him in the face as it catches it oh okay so <laughs> uh, that's fine uh, he is well trained uh, you have uh, the advantage on him, so you can roll directly engage your threat with a plus one. Yeah. I want to take him down. It's time. Come on, guys, don't be evil. Oh, that's good. Uh, a nine plus two, ten, eleven. Uh, and when you directly engage a threat, you can cause significant collateral damage to your environment to choose an additional option. So why not? Let's cause some... Uh, I mean, this place is ruined anyway. So let's crack the skull a little. Um, so I will punch him downwards into the floor, basically. Like as he catches the Door. suitcase. Oh, out into the <laughs> eye and into the space, which is your preference. So down into the, the skull, is that? Down into the skull. I want to break things to get another um, choice. That's going to be fun. Okay. So um, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing then? Choose your... Choose your, your uh, three choices. So... Um, I want to take his sight or um, spear. Yeah, sure. You take that from him. Take the spear. So I want to take the spear. Um, I want to create an opportunity for my allies to bring him down faster. And I want to, Im to impress surprise or frighten the opposition. <coughs> I am doom and Well, you have, you have surprised them. Uh, you've created an opportunity by punching them to the floor and disarming them from that spear. And you've taken something from them, right? So uh, I'm going to mark uh, one of the conditions uh, on the... It might be like one of the only times in the comics where you see like my hand in a punch, like punching the floor, basically, because I think there's mm -hmm. a crack that is inside of right now. And then you see on the next, like, of course, I'm back to my original shape. Um, and he can attack me back because I did not take resist or avoid. Excellent. So, uh, that being uh, the case, they are marking angry. Uh, and uh, as you hit them down and take the spear, the sort of gl glittering lit eye uh, erupts with a, uh, a bolt of energy. And I need you to take a powerful blow. Is you muted? I, I, I said, like, he's so focused on me, like his single eye is looking right at me and pointing right at me, that that's the opportunity the others basically get. But he's I got a four. Uh, you are a four. That's good for such a powerful blow. Yes, yes. That's uh, the f like the second time I've ever passed this. <laughs> uh, well, do you still mark potential? So do remember to do that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I say the bolt. Uh, it's cut. It warms the rock and it cracks. Um, in fact, let's let's not undermine it. You're, you, he 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 was so taken aback that it's uh, it's. Uh, slightly missed you and the bolt slices you can see this crunch go through um, but if it hit you square on you have no doubt that that thing would cut even you in two so danger beam's furious now 
Mm-hmm. Nobody attacks her team. Uh, and she assumes, we'll see whether that's right or wrong, that she can't be damaged by something like that if she's in pure light form. Because, like, what's it going to do? Can't slice light uh, the same way you could physical matter. And she's going to dive into the hole in pure light form. Okay. Um, should I unleash? Should I attack? What? You sounds like you're engaging a threat to me. Are you trying to hit him? Um, Not hit him. So yeah, I would like to incapacitate him. Okay, so um, that's still hit him, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, I'm not, I guess I'm not, like, trying to physically hit him so much as, like, I'd like for him to be just surrounded by light, not able to see anything else, not able to figure out what's going on. It sucks. <laughs> so plus danger. I'm going to you since it's a flat roll. That's a 10. So on a 10, you choose a two from a directly engaged a threat. Which are they? Didn't see that coming, so let me look. Uh, I definitely want to create an opportunity for my allies because I'm not actually doing anything particularly harmful. <laughs> so somebody should probably. Uh, and I do want to impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition uh, I want like like Dumatron already did sort of, so I'm trying to like impress upon him that our team should not be messed with. That was the whole point. I was mad that he fired back at Dumatron. I surprised him. You frightened him. I th- uh, I'm going to give plus one forward to uh, for the next action then to uh, Rana, but just one moment because what we forgot to do there folks to take a roll on back is you are Mm -hmm. uh uh, entering into a battle against a dangerous foe as a team yeah so your team is leading up well that's that's what it said so the team goes uh up by two immediately okay but then we need to ask a couple of questions uh so rana uh are you the leader i don't know I see him right now because he was leading us to here. I'm not following, I guess, but yeah, I had really does the leader have leader. influence? Does the leader have influence over every teammate? Yes. Woo, Edwin team. Is everyone has the same uh, purpose in the fight? What's your purpose, Rana? Um, it's to bring in Aegon, and also now to keep the shiny, shiny gem. Uh, okay, what's your uh, purpose, Danger Beam? Uh, certainly the first half. I don't, I don't know about the gem part, but bringing in Aegon is definitely. And how about you, Doomatron? He's bringing him in that we decided, isn't it? Because I kind of want to punch and break him into two. But yeah. we have to give him to the Raptor <sighs> to show how I... awesome we are. I don't care about that, but like, do, do I follow through with the idea of bringing him in, or do I want to break him in half? I'm not hundred percent sure. Like, I'm very conflicted. <laughs> if, if you're Are not hundred percent sure, then the answer is the answer. No. <laughs> then... I think I want to break him in half. Are we heroes or a death squad? <laughs> <laughs> he <Okay>. tortured me. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't want to okay. kill him. I want to break his stupid. I don't know everything. Um, I don't want to kill him, though. Uh, and and Rana, in fact, also has influence over the enemy in this case. So that's like he has influence over everyone. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna say we're gonna say that's not the case. Uh, but Jon, you're not ill prepared. In fact, you had the advantage this time around. So your team stands as five. Wow. Uh, so Rana. He wears a funky mask, right? Which has a big glowing eye on it that yeah. mur- murder laser stuff. Yeah. I'm just going to leap in with a, no, you don't. And Ryan's just going to bounce over. And I want to try and take his mask off. Okay. I'm hoping that will disarm him. So that will be... Like, the, a frog that's the, the that like, yeah. goes out and grabs it. I can neither so confirm you are gonna, nor you, deny that. You are going to need to try and directly engage a threat to take that mask. Uh, that makes off. sense. 
because you're direct, you're engaging, and you use a threat. Hey, you have a once, plus once you've got it, you'll be able oh. to use it under... <laughs> Oh, that's a gas for horror. I'm still speaking, so I want to know how, how bad that. Um... Uh, it looked like a double one for a sec, but then it was a six, actually. Um, I've got a danger of zero. You have a plus but, one. But yeah, I have plus one. Yeah. And that's I have the cool. plus one. So that's actually. So plus a... two. Yeah. So it so... is actually a basic hit. Um, I'm going to take something from them. I want their mask. The mask is pulled away. And Ryan's just going to bounce on him and bounce off. To reveal uh, underneath the mask and the armour a stone-like form as if it was a shaped and sculpted stone like Doomatron. <gasps> I totally thought you were going to say there was another mask. <laughs> you didn't resist or avoid his blows. <laughs> No, Neither did I, technically. So yeah. you might have another mm -hmm. uh, condition on but yes, you do, I'm afraid, as... Uh, Both of them. Well, as you pull that away, uh, yes. Uh, they are formidable in terms of their combat style. So uh, danger being, as you come in, it uh, jabs out with one hand, uh, inflicting a condition uh, upon you. And... Um, Rana, as you pull it away, uh, equally, um, its uh, knee comes up sharp into your midsection, knocking the wind out of you. Take a condition. Take a condition rather than a powerful blow? Uh, it's specifically inflicting a condition, I'm afraid, and so I'm not going to ask you to uh, do the powerful blow. You didn't resist okay. the blow. So you directly engaged and uh, didn't resist, so I have the opportunity to inflict a condition there to you. Cool. I will be slightly afraid. Because uh, Dumatron is strong and awesome and all, but this guy's Dumatron with lasers, so I'm a little bit concerned. Dumatron, you look down into the face of one of your kind. What do you do? Dun, dun, dun. He gave you a laser? Are you that weak? Um, I kind of changed from, you know, breaking him into the the company of bringing him in because he is one of my kind now now that i see it uh, i will go and try to punch his head until he's um you know fainted okay bang bang uh, bang like pff, pff, pff. Mm, 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 mm. yeah so, so watch to the side if you're doing it with violence, then you have to, I'm afraid, you have to, not afraid, you have to, uh, once again... Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't expect yeah. that otherwise. That's okay, just so as we're aware, but you need to directly engage with <sighs> that. So that's a nine. Um, but I, should I keep breaking everything around us? Um, you know what? Yes, I want to uh, cause more collateral damage and to choose an additional option. And the collateral damage I'm thinking about is that I break through and we fall from the head part into the mouth. Like I, we broke through basically, if that's at all. Yeah, that's, fine. that's fine. It's a smash and the, the, the mouth is sort of the entrance into, uh, I think the, uh, the station master's suites as you go th falling through and down. Uh, uh, all three of you spiraling down and it's quite a substantial fall down because I said this thing is the size of a city so you've just gone you're, right, you're falling from the top of the Empire State Building down right with a, mm. so as I punch him in punch or whatever I do of course in order to bring him down I want to take something from him if he's not completely down just yet I want to hold him down as well <laughs> I want to take away his ability to move he could fight me, but like he can't like escape. Um, and I want to create a further opportunity for my allies. <coughs> no resist. D -d -d -d. Okay, so you're trying to, you're taking the ability to, um, to move, so you've always got them in a bear hug. Uh, let's say that you've got them in a bear hug and you're both falling down and rolling down. So yes, uh, uh, danger beam, yes, you're still in your energy form. Uh, and I presume you're able to fly or move with that. Uh, Rana, so we're going the order we were. Danger Beam, what do you do at this point? 
So my hope a moment ago, but I'm not sure it's still possible based on what Dumitron's doing, um, was to focus myself into like a laser beam, as it were, and aim it at the bad guy. <laughs> uh, but I, if I can't, like if he's too enveloped by Dumitron, I wouldn't risk it. So is there enough of an opening that I could try to like blast this dude with myself a little bit? The, 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 that would be a down to the unleash your powers role. Yes, that is the plan. I just didn't know if it was possible at all. It's possible, but there's a risk of, of you getting it wrong because this is mask and that's yeah. what happens. Yes. Uh, so that's a nine on the dice. If anyone wants to help, that would make it a ten. I mean, I am holding him down, so he's not a moving target. You, and yeah, if I see you like do it, then I will probably one of my hand will move a little to make exact room for you. Sure. So this so is, this, is a, this is a, a move that you've prepared and tired before. So we'll take one off the team, putting it down to four, and moving it up to a uh, moving it up to a ten. So what were you trying to do with the unleash of the power as danger beam? Uh, I was trying to like compress my light form into a focused enough like beam that it acts like a laser and shoot myself essentially at this rock. Like he he lasered Dumatron, so I'm sort of giving him a taste of his own medicine. Thump. Okay, that's enough. They hit the ground, uh, and you all hit the ground. Well, they, as in, uh, it's they they stop flailing, and you hit the ground. Uh, where is that? The ground explodes as Dumitron and Aegon hit the ground. It goes everywhere. Uh, shards of bone flying into the uh, air, <clears throat> and uh, you can see the stone figure. That, how would we know that one of your kind are dying, Doomatron? Ah, uh, what? It became. How would you know that one of your kind are dying? Dying. Yeah. You start seeing cracks everywhere. Like they start cracking in all directions and everywhere, and they like start basically becoming well, marvel-like, you know, dust. Yeah, you can sort of see that, and the cracks are forming. You and I am willing to die. I. I'm but a vessel for my master's power, and my successor was chosen. You fool. Even as you speak, your friend Rana is at the Emperor's mercy. Oh, um, no. Not Rana. I... I remember that Rana is right upstairs, right? <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's exactly right. But all of a sudden... They, he thinks they Ron crack, is the shadow, they right? They crack and start crumbling away. Right. I I is let... sprinting for the uh, docking bays where the ships are. It's probably yeah, miles I'm not away, going to, but I'm not going to let him crack. You're not going to yeah. let him crack. Yeah, I'm going to hold him like whole, like in oh. order to try and well, squish him back into form. Well, let's finish this dramatic scene then first to see if you can do that, because I think that's an unleash your yeah. powers. Yeah. To see if Which you can is... stop them from cracking. Cause I don't want to kill him in the end. <laughs> I want him to die. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, oh, the number suddenly changed. Um, that's an eight plus two, that's a ten. So, describe this then. What do you, what do, you do? So, as it starts splitting and going away, I'm like, you suddenly see my face rather than angry and stern, like a little void because we are rare, our kind is extremely rare. And I immediately like start really fast moving my hands around and catching all of the pieces and start attaching them back with a lot of force and squishing it all back into one whole stone figure. Like squish, like, you know, like earth level, like the earth under the earth level forces of squishing. Squish him back into form, basically. I don't know if the same form, but into a form. <laughs> That's fine. You, you hold it, and that energy of, of the melting energy almost sort of uh, holds it together. It has become dormant. It's beyond your capability here to entirely heal or reawaken, but this, they haven't shattered, but they are dormant. 
to heal them, you'd have to take them home to the uh, rock masters who would be able to assist you. Mm -hmm. Let's now cut to Rana. Would have heard that on the comms. And what are you doing? Yeah, like Rana, I think it's just a, a flash of Rana like sprinting down corridors um, with like their phone up to their ear, just screaming, "Gert, Gert, pick up!" Nothing. And yeah, and like I don't know, maybe then cuts to them like at a big sort of glass window near the docking bays, looking where the uh. Uh, what's her name? Uh, what's Harmony's parent called? Unity. Unity. Unity's where, ship. Where, where Unity's ship probably was. Yeah, exactly. And just like go to put his hands on the screen and just be like, <gasps> and a look of despair. A little bit of space was needed there, and let's ask Danger Beam what they are, where they were doing at this moment in time. The two of your teammates covered in angst. Did you support either of them, or did you do something else? Uh, I would want to support both of them. If I don't know how to support anyone in this moment, honestly, like Dumatron attacks this guy. This guy attacked Dumatron back, so I went for him to defend Dumatron, but now Dumatron is, like, trying to help him, so I'm confused. And I can't see Rana, so I don't... But I guess if I heard I heard him say that... Uh, he has Rana. Rana. Unison has Rana, so I know that he has Gurp, or Gert. So I will probably fly back up in light form. It looks like Dumatron's got the situation under control down here. Uh, to the ship to find Rana and in my mind tell him that Unison has Gert. I don't know that he's seen him on the screen already or whatever it is, but So let's bring let's bring everyone back together for the probably the final uh, scene of tonight's game on board the deck of the Space Hawk. But I'm just going to step away for about 60 seconds. I'll be back in a moment. Ah! I know! It's like, ah, for all the actions. I have to help everyone, but I don't know how. Welcome to life. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I feel that way just with the pets in the house. I'm like, ah, they're all hungry at the same time. Like, it's too much for me. Yep. We have to do is sing them a song while making them food. I do sing them a song while making them food sometimes. Then you're a good owner. Yeah. They're my little ones. Do you have a special feeding song? Um, no. I have a couple of special songs for my dog that I just sing him. Uh, but I don't. I don't have a feeding song specifically, mostly because it's distracting having all of them like crowding around my feet while I'm carrying like multiple bowls of food. How many? Uh, well, I only have the one, but at this point my housemates pets have discovered that I am like the reliable bringer of nutrition and whatnot. So oh. it ends up being more like three. Okay. And they, it's like a bigger dog, my small dog and a cat. And they all approach me in different ways. Okay then, gang. So we find you aboard the deck of the uh, Space Hawk. Uh, so if I haven't already done so, I would rush in just sort of being like, Rana, I think they've got your friend. Yeah, I think Rana's, like on the deck of Space Hawk, the uh, mask and the gem are just like lying on a console and Rana's just sat with her back to a wall um, knees pulled up to their chest, just sobbing. So I'm going to take physical form, uh, like, properly, and zoom over and be like, hey, hey, what's happening? They got Gert. Well, we'll save him then. We're the Amazings, do you remember? Unity got Gert. 
but we'll get him back. Will we? By Mister? being amazing. That's what we do. Do you remember what Unity did to the Rocket Rangers? No, I think I was still in the egg. But it doesn't matter, because we're amazing. I should have got him out of there first. I should have... I should have put my friends first. He ran away. You didn't... You didn't put him in the way of danger. He ran away from us. To go be safe, no. he said. You see, the difference between me and Gert is... I know better. And I should have been there for him, and I should have made sure he was safe, and I should have made sure he got out. I'm supposed to be a hero. I'm supposed to help people. Instead, I was just wanting to impress you guys, impress the raptor. That's not, that's not all you're doing. You're being part of a team. We, we kept some important thing out of the hands of a bad guy who really wanted it. I mean, maybe... We would all be captured if he had the object. Maybe it's something that could take over the universe or something. Like Who knows? Nobody knows because we've not looked at it, have we? Even if we looked at it, we probably wouldn't know how to use it. Because we're not bad guys, and he's a bad guy. Listen. Yeah, I get it. We, we beat the bad guy. We stopped their plan. And it's now we're going to go get your friend. But so, are you ready to pilot is, the ship or what? We're not, we're not taking the ship to Unity. Well, fine. Then I'll go in light form. Are you listening to yourself? Are you gonna? If you're gonna sit here and 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 cry, then I'm gonna go find the reason you're crying and fix it. That's what teammates do. I don't think you can fix this on your own. I don't think we can fix this on our own. Well, who's going to fix it then? I don't know. Someone better than me. Maybe Raptor's right. Maybe I'm not ready for this. Yeah, and I'm sharing a vulnerability. Maybe I shouldn't be here. I think that's ridiculous. I do. We have done so much just in the last like few hours, right? We, we like we. The raptor said that this was like the super dangerous place, and Aegon was out of our league, and this, that, and the other thing. And the only reason Aegon still exists is that Dumatron re-squished him into form after I blasted him, and uh. You know, you your like smooth talking got us through all of these situations, and like we've been functioning as a team so well. I think everyone, including you, is underestimating us. And we've, when I say us, that includes you because you're a part of this team and you're one of the amazings. Okay, I'm going to mark potential, and I'm going to give you influence over me again. And I would suggest, which I think, I would suggest which, that, which, which, oh, sorry, which, lets you, which lets you mess with my stats because you already have influence over me. And mm -hmm. I, would, I would like you, uh, yeah, Mr. Sharing, but I would like, I would suggest that also that uh, um, Orchid has a chance to uh, comfort and support if they would like to at this point as well. Of course I would like to. Should I shift the labels first from the vulnerability? I don't think it... Yeah, yeah. shift the labels first and then roll your comfort and support. I'm going to change mundane, shift that up. Um, and then I think I'm going to shift danger. Wait, no. I wanted to shift mundane down. Oh, crap. I just messed it up. Hold on. Control Z is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> what? Control Z is your friend. Undo. <laughs> Undo. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think 
I'm gonna shift down freak, but up danger. So I want you to know that you're like a hard hitting part of this team. <clears throat> Whether it's true or not, that's how danger beam sees it. So yeah. And then rolling to comfort or support. I think I'm not gonna be good at that because I think I don't have a good stat and have a condition that makes it bad. Sounds like someone's getting some XP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I just have to find the plus mundane. You, you only have minus one. And you have influence, so it's plus one. Oh, that's true. But I doesn't one of the conditions affect comfort and support? I think yeah. Goes. Yeah. Yeah, and I have anger. Minus two. Minus two. Unless it's not minus Unless, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does You're having influence. broken the rock guy count as breaking something important or whatever? Because that would clear that would have cleared my angry. Hmm. I like lasered him. Hurt someone or break something important? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you hit them with enough force that, that it caused, uh, even while your friend mm -hmm. was wound up with them, you still attacked. So yeah, I'll let you clear your angry for that. Because that, that, was, that was some hard ass, uh, uh, could have gone terribly wrong. Yeah, really it's very important. I, I could have cut Doomatron back. instead and calf instead. Yeah, I was very worried actually. Uh, so that's a six, but unless there's someone to help me, right? Because it's have, is it a flat your roll now? Did you influence? It's a, it's a a oh wait, I canceled out the support. negative too. If you got influence, yeah, it's I do. plus one as well. So yes. So basically, it's a zero, I think. Yeah. So I would still need. I would need a help to comfort. There's no one else there. It's just you two in the scene. So it fails. This is a fail on comfort support. So he doesn't hear you. The words don't cut through. Uh, Rana's... Uh, um, Rana stands up. Mm -hmm. Pats Danger Beam on the shoulder. More to reassure Danger Beam than to... Um, communicate that everything is better. Goes, picks up the mask and the gem and just walks out. To, to where? Like off the ship? Or no, where? elsewhere in the ship. I think, to, I think to that's, the end of the scene. That's the, that's the end of the scene and the last panel in the um, tonight's comic. The page turns to uh, the letters page, which tonight is singing lessons with Harmony uh, and Harmony's top five tunes. <laughs> Readers have written in and asked for it. Okay, so we draw the issue to a close and we will move into the close down phase of the game. We will do the um, end of session move on record and then I'll stop recording and we'll do uh, stars and wishes. Oh, did you take potential for feeling the comfort? Yeah. Cool. So look, I'm gonna go in reverse count to keep order this evening. I'm gonna ask Dumatron, did you Grow closer to the team, grow into your own image of yourself, or grow away from the team? I think I'm growing closer to the team because we worked really well together today, like really well together with everyone. And Rana in particular was extremely like on top of his, his their game. Like, and that made me feel very welcome because I know I'm in a group of very excellent people. So you get influenced. And it's funny that it's Rana, yes, I know. <laughs> so Rana makes you feel welcome. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, which means he plays with my... Uh, oh, you've already got influencer? Yes. What, what, which yes, on everyone. Which of Dumatron's labels would you like to move, Rana? I'm going to put your danger up <laughs> because you're so violent destructive. But I'm going to put your freak down because of that connection you made with uh, the singer. <laughs> Excellent. And yeah. Love it. Danger Beam, same questions to you. Definitely closer to the team. Uh, Who specifically and why? Probably Dumatron because he came in for that hug. I was very touched. Seems legit. Hey. Uh, I think I have one. So everyone, too. Yes, I do. <coughs> 
So, um, mundane app, because you have been hugging and being nice to everyone. <laughs> so, yeah. And um, superior down, because you haven't been like, I'm better than everyone. And you also haven't been checking the ground. And I don't know it, but you did pick. <laughs> That's true. I also blasted apart the guy you were attacking. But yeah, but no that's way. why I didn't take danger that one. Rana. I don't know if we hit any of your drives this evening. No, we didn't. But to be fair, we hadn't had much time to consider them. So it would have just been crowbarring. Mm -hmm. So I'm cool with that. Um, so for Rana, there's been lots of ups and downs today. But I think because of the way it ended, Rana feels like they're growing away from the team. It's specifically that they've effectively been doing this crazy superhero joyride and where Dumatron says Rana's been on top of their game. Rana's literally just been on top of this car, like the top of the bus, holding on tightly and kind of just going with it. And in that kind of action and craziness, one of their friends, as much as he's a knob, has been hurt and is likely doomed to some awful fate. And he really feels he should have been putting his friend first and the shenanigans second. Um, like Almost like clearly being secret became too important in that moment. And he's learning from that. And it's nothing personal, but I think just because of the interaction that they just had, Orchid's influence is being removed. Well, it sort of makes sense because Orchid could have uh, equally and easily got that um, so wrong because they don't understand the way the world works, right? So I think that no. that was that was that wonderful. Um, that what they needed was was uh, not we can always work it out. It was it was uh, it was a wonderful scene, and I really enjoyed uh, listening to that. So thank you. Yeah, uh, I think Orchid and Ran have been grating a little bit on each other a couple times today. So, so that's amazing how thing. differently we see like we see the. It's story. Yeah, it's it's one it's wonderful, right? That, that's the end of issue two. So I'm going to stop recording, and uh, I'll see people back on camera for issue three. Stop.